You are now inside Sonetta Studios, the House of Consciousness production, Black News presentation. All right, peace and black power family. Welcome to another Sarnetta TV House of Consciousness production. You already know what it is. I got Black Jesus Minister in the building. So you already know it's going to be some comedy. It's going to be some, some information mixed with the comedy. And sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need a laugh. We can't always be serious every day. We got to laugh sometime to keep from crying. I know I do, goddammit. <laughs> I got to laugh to keep from crying sometime, man. And what better brother to bring on other than Black Jesus Minister? You see the topic. Black Jesus Minister does ISUBK advocate adultery, rape, and, and crack cocaine. What the F? That's what I put. What the F is going on here? So without any further ado, I want everybody to know that when I come here and I interview these brothers and sisters, I want you to know that it's not my title. They give me their title, all right? So it's their title, man. And I want you to know what I also did was I called my brother, Captain Tesori. Captain is a, is a strong soldier. He don't give a damn. Because of my loyalty to him, I called Captain. Black Jesus don't know this. I called Captain. And I said, yo, Captain, man, you already know I'm getting ready to interview Black Jesus Minister. Here's the title he gave me. What do you think, bro? Is it all right? Is it cool? If not, I won't even put it up. Captain just looked at Cesar. Dude, dude, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm good. I'll come in and clean it up. And so I throw it up. See, that's what goes on. So don't be like, damn, so I thought Captain was your man. That is my brother. That's my, that's my captain, you know? And so that's why I checked in with my brother first. And so, without any further ado, um, Black Jesus Minister, what, what brought what brought about this, brother? Unmute yourself. Greetings to everybody. Greetings to all of y'all. This is your boy. This is your boy, Bishop, 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 Black Jesus Minister, the global bishop of the Black Hebrew Israelite movement the global supreme bishop of the global Hebrew Israelite movement, brothers and sisters, your bishop, your boy, Black Jesus Minister, will be bringing the correction, correct doctrine and righteousness to this movement of God, which is a movement of God that has been hijacked, that has been hijacked by devils, brothers and sisters. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm saying to all of you that you who deem yourselves and are striving for righteousness on a daily basis, I am asking all of you to join arms and hands with Bishop Black Jesus Minister <laughs> as we bring correction and righteousness to this righteous movement and the awakening of our people, brothers and sisters. Uh, I've been on this journey uh, for now about 10 years, Brother Sarnetta, uh, since I was introduced to the conscious community. When I was introduced to the conscious community 10 year, approximately 10 years ago, I only identified as a Christian, but my mother educated me through a Black Hebrew Israelite. Uh -oh. A Black Hebrew Israelite from New York. All right, shout out to Brother Henry Howe. Shout out to Brother Henry Howe from New York City, who 
relocated to Texas, informed my Christian mother that we were the Israelites, okay? And my mother began to investigate the scriptures herself and verified in her spirit and with her relationship with God that yes, we were confirming what he had said to her to be true. And uh, there was a time that my mother told me one time, uh, sometime after that, she was in the hospital and she was sharing a, a hospital room with a white lady. And just, you know, her and the lady, they, they, they hit it off pretty well and they was talking. And then just out of the clear blue for, for no reason, they weren't even talking along this line. This white lady that my mother met for the first time, both of them sharing a hospital room, told my mother that we black people are the true Israelites. Okay. So I knew, and I was in this truth, like y'all love to call it the truth. Okay. I, I call it, I call it the false. <laughs> of course, you do. Truth of about course it. that's what you do. There ain't no doubt about <laughs> that. We know who platform we on. But uh brothers and sisters, uh I am now 55 years old. All right. And I have been in this truth since the age of 14 or 15 years old when my mother told me this. And at no time did that knowledge impede my identity as a Christian, okay? And as I began to uh, 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 become friends with, uh, uh, have adversaries with, have discussions with, and, and, and integrated myself into the Israelite community 10 years ago, it hit me, you know, I am an Israelite and I am a Christian. I am sick and tired of all this bickering and fighting because I see all of this bickering. The, the, the foundation of all this bickering and fighting is false information, lack of understanding and false doctrine. And much of this false doctrine, brothers and sisters, must be must be classified as wicked, evil and satanic. And I am accusing one West, all one West Israelites of this very accusation. But today we're going to shine a spotlight on one particular one West organization, and that is ISUPK. Uh -oh. And a spotlight and a spotlight on evidence that i believe to be indisputable undisputable video evidence from the horse's mouth from isupk's mouth from the horse's mouth brothers and sisters asking the question which is the title of this room does isupk advocate adultery rape and crack cocaine surely all of these things are a violation of commandments now surely black jesus yes sir now now, you should be very careful. I'm going to let you do your thing. Uh-huh. But I'm going to challenge you that even your the man who you named yourself after, Black Jesus, <laughs> Black Jesus advocates adultery, brother. <laughs> you don't know it yet, but I'm going to show you. You know when I do my research, and I'm showing you out the Bible, brother. So <laughs> be careful, man. I'm going to let you do your thing. Right. I'm not banging on you right that. now. I appreciate that. Yeah, let me lay it on all out of there. You know what I'm saying? If, okay. if Brother Tazariak decides to show up, uh, we will entertain that brother at the very end of my presentation, if you don't mind, if he does show up. Uh, so, now please uh, share my screen. Show my screen real quick, brother. Let me let me give a special shout-out to ISUPK real quick. A real, real special shout-out to ISUPK. You know, <laughs> Yo, you stupid, man. Oh, my God. All right. Man. Uh, ISUPK, greetings to all of you, brothers and sisters, from the top to the bottom. From the top to the bottom, greetings, ISUPK, brothers and sisters, from the top to the bottom, General Johanna, who continues to run for me and who will not debate the Supreme Bishop of the Global Hebrew Israelite Movement, your boy, Black Jesus Minister, General Mahiman. Captain Tazariak, my dear brother, who is one of the subjects in this video evidence, along with his superior, General Mahiman. Brothers and sisters, we are soliciting all of you today 
to be the jury members in this trial. We are going to present a trial today. We are putting ISUPK on trial. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Is ISUPK guilty of the allegations that are listed in the title of this video, brothers and sisters? You will decide. You will review the video evidence and you as the jury members will decide this case. Innocent or guilty and if they are guilty shall we close the doors and shall we cancel shall we cancel forever the institution called isupk for espousing demonic doctrines and lying and lying on the true christ messiah black jesus isa yeshua black jesus isa yeshua the true christ messiah as opposed to the mascot of ISUPK, shout out to the mascot of ISUPK, White Jesus Chattazai. What's happening, Captain Chattazai? All right, brother, uh, you can uh, share my screen and let's get busy, man. All right, let me pull my screen back up. What's going on with me? All right. Here we go. All right, there I am. All right, brother Saw. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, no, you cannot share my screen. You cannot share, bro. Uh, brothers and sisters, I um created an intro. Uh, not really an intro, but I I did a um a clubhouse uh brief room on Clubhouse on this same issue. And there's an intro in that clubhouse. Uh, 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 discussion, brief discussion and review of the video evidence that you all will see. Now, for time's sake, I will not be able to play the entire video, but I will go through certain snippets of it. The video is probably like 27 or 26 minutes long, but we're going to hear just snippets of it, guys. But uh, uh, I did place the link of the entire video in the chat, and I will continue to put the link in the chat moderators if y'all look at the very beginning of this video in the chat the chat at the beginning of this video you guys can copy that and reshare the video so that everybody who's a member of this jury who's part of this live stream will be able to see the video in its entirety to make sure that bishop black Jesus minister is not manipulating the video to make it seem or say a different way now let me please give a shout out to the creator of this compilation video the creator of this compilation video whom we will see in the video giving commentary brother maharaka brother maharaka of aoi brother maharaka of aoi all right the army of israel the army of israel all right appreciate you brother thank you for giving us giving me uh, a copy of this video and permission to play this video here on Sarnetta Studios. Thank you, dear brother. An awesome job you did on this expose in this video. Uh, so brothers and sisters, um, let me go to the, the, the intro that I did this morning on Clubhouse. And if you guys have not joined my Clubhouse group, our Clubhouse group, download the app. Make sure you go to Black Jesus Minister Clubhouse, Black Jesus Minister Clubhouse, and it ends with C-L-U-B-H, C-L-U-B-H, because I didn't have enough room for H-O-U-S-E, okay? And that's how you'll find our name on Clubhouse. Join our Clubhouse group. And at my profile, you'll see my profile. Follow on my profile. And just- Hold on, hold on, Black Jesus. Yes, sir. Hold on. Hey, Shalom, Mike, I'm at work. All right, real quick, Shalom. Um, uh, is, do we got permission to play your video on my channel, Sarnetta? The one you did on the um the ISUPK about you know the joint you did. Play the video. My brother, thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. I just wanted to make sure I got permission. See, you ain't know I got all these dudes' numbers, bro. <laughs> no problem, brother. You know they don't call me the Godfather hey, for hey, nothing, hey, bro. I know, damn. I, I already know. <laughs> I, look, look, look. I already know. I can't come to Sarnetta with no damn lies. 
Right. He go back. He go back check a nigga. You know. Yeah, Maharaka. Shout out to Maharaka. Yeah. He said yes. We can play it. So we. Yeah, ain't lying. Yeah, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with Sarnetta. God damn it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, brothers and sisters, um, I'm going to play a snippet of my little intro to my review of the video on Clubhouse. If you have not joined our group group on Clubhouse, make sure you do so at Black Jesus Minister, all one word. Clubhouse is at the end attached to that C-L-U-B. And follow, 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 and share, 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 brothers and sisters. So let's listen to this very brief intro, and then I'm going to share my screen again and prep you all with scriptures that I believe are being violated by ISUPK. Remember, all of you are the jury members in this trial. All of you are the jury members in this trial, and then we will go through the video. And those of you who would like, the entire video link is in the chat, and I hope the moderators are copying it and, and, uh, and retyping that in and pasting it in so that you guys can grab it. Or maybe someone that might want to clip it and put it at the top, uh, or, you know, just momentarily. All right, let's go ahead and listen to this intro, brothers and sisters. This brief intro I did on Clubhouse. Want me to share the screen? Uh, no, I'm playing it from another, another device. Just, just the volume. Okay. Right now, yeah. And I had a little short intro. I'm mean, a little some dead air at the beginning. All right, here we go. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Bishop B J M, Bishop Black Jesus Minister, the Supreme. Bishop of the Global Hebrew Israelite Movement, brothers and sisters. And we are going to cancel the One West organization, the demonic, wicked, satanic organization, One West organization of ISUPK, of ISUPK, brothers and sisters, the entire organization from top to bottom, starting with General Yohanna, General Mahayman, and Clubhouse Captain Tazariak, Clubhouse Captain Tazariak, the indisputable the undisputable video evidence is linked, pinned at the top of this room. The indisputable, undisputable video evidence is linked, pinned at the top of this room. We are proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that ISUPK teaches violations of the commandments of God and the commandments as of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we are going to Proverbs 632 cancel Proverbs 632 cancel we are going to Proverbs 632 cancel ISUPK now for teaching crack and adultery for teaching crack cocaine and adultery now let us brothers and sisters see the scriptures and the commandments of god that are violated by isupk let's read a few of those scriptures i would like to take your attention to exodus 20 and 14 Exodus 20 and 14. Thou shall not commit adultery. Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall surely be put to death. Deuteronomy 5.18 Neither shalt thou commit adultery 
Proverbs 6 and 32. Proverbs 6 and 32. Our title sake, brothers and sisters. This is a Proverbs 6 and 32 commandment and scriptural canceling of ISUPK. Let us read Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Brothers and sisters, did y'all hear me? Let's read this one more time. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. My God, brothers and sisters, my God. It is now time to cancel ISUPK who is teaching men the wicked behavior of purchasing and perhaps selling crack cocaine and to commit adultery that will lead to the destruction of their own souls. Brothers and sisters, now let us listen to the video evidence. All right, brothers and sisters. Now I'm about to show you guys the very scriptures that was just mentioned. And I'm going to ask Sonna to, sh to share my screen one more time. And then we will hear the video evidence, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, can you see my screen, Brother Sonetta? Yes, sir. Your screen is showing. All right. Brothers and sisters, the very scripture that I just read uh, that was just replayed from my Clubhouse account, starting with Exodus 20 and 14, we see that at the very top of the screen here that there are 33 Bible results for the word adultery. 33 Bible results for the word adultery. And of course, there are other variations of the word uh, uh, adultery, adulterer, adulteress. So there's much more, there's much more than just the 33. But again, our focus is on adultery. Exodus 20 and 14 says, What? Thou shall not commit adultery. That is a commandment, brothers and sisters. Thou shall not commit adultery. What is adultery? Adultery is having sex with a uh, uh, with uh, with a married person that you're not married to. Adultery is having sex with a married person that you are not married to. Leviticus. Leviticus is one of the books of the law, brothers and sisters. We know how our Israelite brothers and sisters love to tout how they are the greatest commandment keepers on the earth, right? Not these little pork-eating Christians, you know what I'm saying? We Israelites, we keep the commandments of God. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 10, and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife. Do y'all see that? And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Deuteronomy 5 and 18, another book of the law. Neither shalt thou commit adultery. Neither shalt thou commit adultery. And brothers and sisters, the pinnacle scripture in my mind in regards to this issue that I'm bringing to everyone's attention is Proverbs 6 and 32. And what does it say? But whoso committed adultery, but whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh, lacketh understanding. He that doeth it, he that doeth it, brothers and sisters, destroyeth his own soul. My God. Did, brothers and sisters, General Mahiman, the second in command of ISUPK, 
instruct all of ISUPK that he, that Jesus, that Jesus, that Jesus, my Lord and Savior. I don't know if this is ISUPK's Lord and Savior. No, oh, that's right. Why Jesus chapter Zion is ISUPK's Lord and Savior. But my Lord and Savior Jesus, Black Jesus, East Yeshua, would never have told my hymen what he said Jesus told him. What did my hymen say Jesus told him? My hymen said, that Jesus told him to tell Chris Rock to get revenge against Will Smith for slapping him at the award show by purchasing some crack, crack cocaine, and befriending his family, get in real good with the kids and start playing video games with the kids, and then eventually get close to the wife, the wife and befriend her and seduce her with crack cocaine because he alleges that she is a drug addict. And after you have seduced her with crack cocaine, F, F, the letter F, A, B, C, D, E, F, 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 G, F her. Brothers and sisters. Come on, Black Jesus. He ain't say that, man. Stop, oh, man. Bro, look here, bro. This is a leader of ISUBK. He wouldn't say no crazy stuff like that, bro. Man. Bro, I, I, but look here, man. I Even Satan, the devil himself, wouldn't even have mouthed these words. But brother, uh, if I'm wrong, Sarnetta, you, you are, you're a member of the jury too, but I know you 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 cool with ISUBK, so you might want to be kind of you know quiet and silent on it. But in your <laughs> mind and in your spirit, though, you can make up your mind from this video, brother. Don't we're we not going by what I say. We're not going by what I say. We about to play the video right now, bro. And the last time I checked, has anybody ever heard of date rape? You know, uh, uh, I believe they even tried to uh you know tried to railroad uh uh Bill Cosby for slipping drugs on women and having sex with them. That is categorically rape, brothers and sisters. Okay. And the last time I remember, I, I, I remember ISUPK to Zariac and their leadership condemning GMS, whom not only they condemn, but even Sarnetta and the House of Consciousness, and, and even uh, Brother Polite has a famous video with the House of Consciousness confronting GMS about their rape doctrine. Do you remember that, Sarnetta? What? Do you remember the video that you did with Polite confronting GMS. Uh, yes. The, the one with, about yes. their rape doctrine. Yes. Absolutely. So you mean to tell me, Mahayman, that you are now, you have now adopted a, 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 a the rape doctrine and you're instructing your men, your so-called righteous men to seduce women with drugs? Where, they, where, where their will has been uh, 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 disabled by drugs and then to take advantage of them, to rape them, General Mahayman, and then shame on the captain, who I love. I love you, captain. You hear me, bro? Your problem is, brother captain, is that you are a member of ISUPK, bro, and that you're loyal to ISUPK to the end, brother, that will destroy you, brother Tazariak. And brother, even though I'm going to expose you today, and Mahim and ISUPK, brother, in your with your own words, brother, we and I are praying for you, brother. You're a special brother, man. You don't belong with them clowns, bro. You need to hook up with Bishop Black Jesus Minister, bro, so we can clean up this whole this this global Hebrews like movement, brother. Now, Sarnetta, I'm about to play this video, bro. You about ready? I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to uh, click. This I'm app. ready, brother. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to click. I'm going to unshare this and then share it again and go straight to the tab because I think the volume will be better. So let me unshare and then share again and go straight to the tab. Man, I got to see this. I don't believe this shit. I got to see this shit. My God, my God. Okay, here we go right there. That's it right there. 
All right. If you lying on these people, man, I'm gonna do what Umar said. I'm gonna give your ass a hundred slashes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Umar, hey, Umar hey, went on the Breakfast hey, Club. Hey, he hey. said he gonna give Stephen A a hundred slashes. On hey, that. but you gotta you gotta catch that me shit first, was bro. funny as hell. But you gotta catch me first on that. You gotta catch me first, brother. <laughs> yeah, I might deserve it, but you gotta catch me. Damn. All right. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'm share. I believe I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, I am sharing my screen. Let me go back to the video. All right, all right, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is my our YouTube channel, Black Jesus Minister, all one word. YouTube, Black Jesus Minister, all one word. YouTube. Go there, go there, subscribe. The video link is in the chat. Sarnetta may have pinned it at the top of the room, or maybe one of the moderators. Moderators, please uh, put the, the entire video link in the chat so that they can review the entire video. I will only be able to play snippets of it. Well, not snippets, but portions of it for time's sake. This is a 27-minute video, brothers and sisters. And then there's a more complete video on the channel that's about 47 minutes. And then you'll have to contact Brother Maharaka and go to his website, I mean, to his uh, uh, YouTube channel, Army of Israel. Army of Israel, Brother Maharaka, the leader of AOI, Army of Israel. All right. Here we go, brothers. And let me just kind of set this up. This is evidently a, a conversation. The video starts off with a conversation between two guys confronting and talking to Tazariak, I believe, on Clubhouse and questioning him about remark about the about the accusatory remarks that he made in a class in a teaching class before ISUPK and before the entire world on uh, uh, on the internet all right so again two brothers who I don't know are questioning captain Tazariak and you guys will find this very interesting please pay attention put on your listening caps brothers and sisters because you Ladies and gentlemen, are the members of the jury, and you all will be giving a verdict at the end of this video and commentary. Thank you very much. Here we go. Well, let me let me warn you: be careful for the lies and all that, because the captain is in the building. Just wanted to let you know. That's fine, brother. That's fine, because right now I'm I'm through talking. Now the video finna do the talking. Now, captain finna do the talking right about now. All right, but again, uh, we will not entertain him until I finish the presentation. Thank you very much. All right, here we go, son. Now. Um, so, Captain, can you explain to us what he meant? By saying, if he, w I will give him this counsel, that he should take revenge in the spirit of Christ, and that he should go <laughs> sleep with his wife, and go get heroin, and give her the good heroin, and play coke. video games with his son, and go sleep with his wife. Yo, play so why, why would that be? So, so that he would was that a joke? Or, or no, we don't joke. We're not Jake, so we don't joke like that. I, I, I said, shock. I don't know if you know, but if I sneeze on camera, it's on purpose. Chris Rock can fuck his wife. I pray everyone understands. Right, sir. I don't say anything that is not on purpose. Chris Rock can fuck his wife. I pray everyone understands. Right, sir. I don't say anything. That is not on purpose. Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. But okay. again, if you listen to the class, you'll hear him say he wasn't saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. He says it in the class. He was not saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Uh, Will Smith trains for action movies. He's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge, 
and the spirit of Christ. He has to do it or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision, this is what I would counsel him to do. If you listen to the class, you'll hear him say he wasn't saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. He says it in the class. He was not saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Uh, Will Smith trains for action movies. He's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge and Chris Rock must get revenge and the spirit of Christ, he has to do it or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision. If you listen to the class, you'll hear him say, I'm listening. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision. He wasn't saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. He says it in the class. He was not saying that for Chris Rock. He was saying that for Will. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision. This is what I would counsel him to do. This is the only way Will Smith should un would understand. Chris Rock cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck, 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 his wife. Black Jesus crazy. What? That's why I keep saying all you got to do is go listen. They go together. That's why he said I say stuff on, excuse me, intentional for teaching purposes. Just so y'all can have the reaction you have. And then he gave the class that he gave. He even says in the class, the counsel was for Will to hear him say that. So he could hear how painful it was. All you got to do is listen to the class. That's why I don't know why, why y'all asking me the same question again. When I just said for the people here listening, you can just go listen to the class. And he'll explain it very, very clear who he was talking to. Why he said what he said. I have a clip of the class. Can we play that first clip? That's why he did it. That's why he didn't hit him back. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? That's why he did it. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? That's why he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. That's why he did it. That's why he didn't hit him back. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. Will Smith took advantage of this abused child. That's now in his fifties. <laughs> <laughs> he said abused child. He took it. Will Smith is a fucking bastard to do this to this man. He even says in the class, the counsel was for Will to hear him say that. So he could hear how painful it was. And Will Smith knew he could do it because he knows him and he knows he can hurt him like everybody else hurt him. And the minute he felt that smack, he was in high school again. I'm sitting here looking for the part that to Zarya. Brothers and sisters, this is the Honorable Maharaka. This is the Honorable Maharaka, the head of the Army of Israel and the creator of this video compilation and the founder of fopi fope 
Uh, uh, co- uh, you mean co-founder of FOPE? No, he is the founder of FOPE, and he passed it on to Quanah because he was moving forward. Well, I tell you what, we'll have that discussion at another time. Okay. Let's go. The whole first video, I watched the video. I have the whole video. And Dawn Lil Wills in here, Jada's here, there, this, that, the third. As you see right here, before he made the statement, he showed a video concerning Chris Rock just sharing his upbringing. And so he used this, you know what I'm saying, to catapult the reason why Will Smith, Will Smith smacked him. Like, you don't know Will Smith saw that. You don't know that. So you he used this video to justify the statement he's about to make. Show me where, give me the timestamp that he said out of his mouth, like you said to Zarya, right? Where you said that he said he was going to make the statement he made just so Will Smith can feel hurt or feel the same pain that Chris Rock felt. And he should fuck the shit out of Jada Pink until that head glows in the dark. <laughs> then Will Smith what it will know what it's like to be emasculated. With that, pass the class over to the officer. That's why he said, I say stuff on, excuse me, intentional for teaching purposes, just so y'all can have the reaction you have. And then he gave the class that he gave. He even says in the class, the counsel was for Will to hear him say that. So he could hear how painful it was. Does that make sense to y'all? Does that make sense? What is the point of you saying that in that spirit? If they never going to see this shit, they don't know it's thou. They're not in your realm, in your world. Them guys are wealthy. They rich. I can say wealthy. They're rich. They're not watching the ISUPK. So that statement of him making that statement. So for Will Smith, the count that was a lie. For the counsel for Will Smith, so he can feel how Chris felt by he by um General Stumbling Block making this statement concerning. Him counseling Chris Rock to go smash on his wife. Boy, these niggas can lie through their goddamn teeth, man. That shit don't make no goddamn sense. It's a damn lie. Let's continue, shall we? Chris Rock is a lot smaller than than uh, Will Smith. About probably about fifty pounds and about four inches, right? This is what Chris Rock should do. This is this would be my counsel to him. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Uh, Will Smith trains for action movies. He's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge in the spirit of Christ, he has to do it, or else he won't be a man. Did y'all hear that? Say with my counsel. Did y'all hear that? In the spirit of Christ, in the spirit of Christ, in the spirit of Christ, he must do that. My God. Let me just back it up just a little tiny snippet bit. You'll hear that one more time. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge and Chris Rock must get revenge in the spirit of Christ, he has to do it or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you with my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision, this is what I would counsel him to do. This is the only way Will Smith should un- would understand. Chris Rock cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. He should do that. He should buy some of that good heroin. He should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. Kensington got excellent heroin, excellent cocaine. 
purer than in New York. He should get some some of that weed from California or some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. Uh, brothers and sisters, did we just hear the holy man, the second holiest man of ICPK, give instructions that he would tell Chris Rock to go purchase and to buy crack cocaine, and and so and by happenstance, this brother, uh, 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 the, the holy Mahiman, General Mahiman, knows where to buy the best cocaine. He said, he said, so another, he said, the cocaine y'all got it in New York ain't nothing, bro. He's instructing everybody, his members, and Chris Rock where to go buy and purchase and find the best cocaine supposedly in philadelphia how do you know that uh general mahiman how do you know that the second holiest man of isupk let's pull that back just a little bit and we'll hear it again and that's what he should do he should do that he should buy some of that good heroin he should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. Kensington got excellent heroin, excellent cocaine, pure in New York. He should get some, some of that weed from California or some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. Some guns and sorcerers. What's a sorcerer? Who knows? Now, check out this contradiction, everybody. Now, check out this contradiction that Brother Maharaka brought out. In the same class, he's going to bring out a scripture in reference to sorcery that also refers to, if you guys look up the etymology of sorcery, it, it, it involves chemicals, chemistry, uh, 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 and the occult, but also in reference to drugs, drugs, medicines. Listen to the hypocrisy of this man in the same moment, in the same speech, giving the advice to Chris Rock to go purchase and buy some crack cocaine, even some weed, because it, it's, it's, more, it's much more pure than New York in Kensington, Philadelphia, okay? And seduce Will Smith's wife with this crack cocaine, brothers and sisters. Listen to this hypocrisy as he explains the sorcery scripture and contradicts his what? His uh, 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 instructions to Chris Rock. Someone that gets a potion, they put this potion together and they give it to you so that they can seduce you and control your life. They make spells. Now, there are a lot of different forms of sorcery today. One is a drug dealer. He should do that. He should buy some of that good heroin. He should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down in Kinsley. <laughs> hey, Black, you stupid, stupid, man. heroin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Here god. <laughs> you should get some some of that weed from California. <laughs> some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. This shit is crazy. Goddamn shit. Drug dealer is a sorcerer oh my god, because he makes man. he has a potion. <laughs> And this potion is this much cocaine with this much vitamin B and cut this with that and, and all types of things to cut the drug so that you can get more of it or <laughs> less of it so you can get more addicted. They do it with this weed you love to smoke. It has all this recipe of this type of weed. Ooh, this no, different stop, of weed <laughs> because they're sorcerers. They're creating a potion to make oh, you their slave. Oh, I was, if I knew I Will, hear that shit. you know what I would tell him? I would say, I'm going to tell Chris Rock, I'm going to tell him to buy drugs because your wife is a drug addict. If I knew Will Smith, you know what I would tell him? I would say, I'm going to tell Chris Rock to fuck your wife. I'm going to tell him to do it. 
I'm going to tell him to buy drugs because your wife is a drug addict. <laughs> and I'm going to tell him to fuck your wife since you don't know how to keep your hands oh, off of shit. people. Oh, Would I be wrong shit. for telling him that? No, we didn't make that comparison, though. But that's what I'm saying. I'm all, not all saying y'all making it. I'm not saying y'all making it. Comparison <laughs> Black dude, you stupid saying. for this one. Tally <laughs> said he's off his shit. That's what Tally said. <laughs> And you can say I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to change nobody's <laughs> oh, mind. Right? And maybe. Crazy. And, and what I'll do is I'll yield from this subject. My last and final statement is <laughs> to listen to the class. I don't pull two examples of it in the Bible. Cap, cap, two examples. I, I got. Hold, I got a hold question. On. Um, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead, Jack. Sorry. Did you watch the class? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to end this video, guys. But if you all had a hurt, hard time hearing, uh, the two brothers who was interviewing Tazariak on Clubhouse asked him after all this advice that Tazariak was 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 doing, all of this explaining, all of this justifying, all of this agreement by Captain, our Captain, our Captain Tazariak. These two brothers asked him, well, Captain Tazariak, did you watch the class? And this clown ass nigga sit up here and said, no, he didn't watch the class. Well, how the hell are you going to sit up here and give these brothers this advice and defend and protect Muhammad? We just heard what we heard, bro. Uh, now, uh, Brother Tazariak, this will be your opportunity, dear brother, to, like you said, like you told Sarnetta, to come in here and clean it up, bro. But what we need, but what you really need to clean up is you need to clean up yourself, brother. Now, if you want to continue to try to defend uh, uh, your holy, your second holiest leader, General Muhammad, you're welcome to do that because that's what you're doing all through this video. But even though you didn't watch the whole video or watch the video, you heard about it because everybody was talking about it all over the community and you knew what the details were. You might not have watched the whole video, but you knew what the details were, and you spent your entire time in this conversation with these brothers defending the filth, the filth, and the demonic behavior that your general was teaching the men of ISUPK. Almost done, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sorry. Did you watch the class? No, 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 no. Go ahead, Jack. Sorry. Did you watch the class? No, I was in the. I haven't watched this since the class. No, I, I was in the. I haven't watched this since the class. No, I, no, I was in the. I haven't watched this since the class. I don't have to though. That's why I said I don't have to. Oh. All right, brothers and sisters, we're going to stop the video right there at the 16 minute, 29 second mark. For those of you who would like to watch the remainder of the video, the video link is in the chat and I'll be uh, contributing contributing to putting the link in the chat as well. So brother Sonetta, you can unshare my screen, brother, and put my lovely face back on the screen, bro. Are uh, you still with me, Sonetta? All right. Did Brother Sal never take a break, y'all? Did Brother Sal never take a break? Well, if he did take a break, y'all, I'm going to play a few more snippets until he get back here. I'm going to play a few more snippets until he get back here. Brother Sal Netta, one more time. Brother Sal Netta, Brother Sal Netta. All right. Remember, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, you are not only audience, the audience on this live stream, but you are the jury members 
of this presentation. You are the jury members for this trial. ISUPK, brothers and sisters, is on trial. Brothers and sisters, should ISUPK be canceled starting today and should all members of ISUPK, should all members of ISUPK jump ship and leave ISUPK because now we have indisputable, I believe undisputable evidence that you belong to a demonic organization, an unholy organization with unholy leaders who are leading all of you to the fires in the pit of hell and damnation and the lake of fire, brothers and sisters. So, uh, Brother Salnetta, if you will, dear brother, you did un unmute my mic. I see Tazariak is in on the screen. So let me just do a, a few last things, and then I'll let you turn it over to Brother Tazariak, all right? All right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hey, Black Jesus, I ain't gonna lie. You had me tired. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. That's the first time hey, you ever hey, had Sean, me Black like that. Jesus not that skilled enough to make that video. He didn't make that video. Uh, brother, he just I played already, the video. I told him who made the video, brother. Can you hold that? Hold it down, bro. Uh, that's my that's my horror cause work. Uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just pointing out he's not skilled enough. You had to do that, brother, because I already told him in the beginning. He just I mean, you out. could if you could say uh, the brother, things that you're right saying, now, you shouldn't be bothered by what I'm saying. It's not your turn to talk right now. Brother. Like you touch you it already. It, brother, I'm going to ask you nicely, <laughs> brother. Please, bro. Like if you right, win, let him get the eight. Sorry, let him finish so you, you can come in. Right, no sweat. Thank you very much. All right, brothers and sisters. Uh, I am glad that to Brother Tazariak is here today because he refused to meet with me on Clubhouse. I believe if the brother would have met with me on Clubhouse, it would not have been necessary for us to be here on the in the epicenter of the conscious community sarnetta tv sarnetta studios hok so again brothers and sisters uh let me well, oh, oh, i'm going to go over the scriptures one more time i'm going to share my screen one more time and go over the scriptures for the sarnetta and then we can turn it over to uh to brother tazaria hey how long is you going to do it so we can get no, no, to no, I'm, just, I'm just showing the scriptures i'm just going to show them and read them real okay. quick okay all right about a minute maybe less than two minutes I'm going to the same scripture that I showed a few minutes ago, uh, at early at the very beginning. Entire screen. All right. And the scripture's right there. Can you see the, the screen is showing? Yes, we Good. see Thank it. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, these are the same scriptures, brothers and sisters. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, these are the same scriptures and the commandments of God that we are putting on trial, ISUPK for violating and teaching the violation and the commandments of God, the commandments of community, the commandments of love and honor and respect. Exodus 20 and 14. Is ISUPK guilty through General Mahiman of violating Exodus 20 and 14? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Is ISUPK guilty? of violating the commandment of Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Is ISUPK guilty of violating the commandment of Deuteronomy 5 and 18, neither shall thou commit adultery. And finally, is ISUPK guilty of violating the commandments of God, the word of God, the spirit of God, the love of God, the respect of God, by literally lying, by literally lying on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, black Jesus, Easter Yeshua, the true Christ Messiah, saying that Jesus told him, the second holiest man of ISUPK, to tell Chris Rock, to purchase crack cocaine, to seduce her with that crack cocaine, and then rape her once she's under the influence, and F her, F her to get his revenge. Did Jesus tell, <laughs> did Jesus tell General Muhammad to do that, brothers and sisters? I believe that this is the quintessential evidence to prove once and for all that I am wicked as hell. Wicked as hell. It's time to cancel them and to shut their goddamn doors. 
Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso, but whoso committed adultery, Captain Zazariak, with a woman lacketh understanding, your leader, your superior, lacks understanding, Tazariac. I've been trying to tell you this for five or ten years. Lacketh understanding. He that doeth it, he that committed adultery, destroyeth his own soul, Brother Tazariac. All right. Shame you, Brother Tazariac, for defending your unholy leader and lie in the lie and the lie that Jesus told him to tell Chris Rock to commit adultery. Okay. Thank you. Black people, you got to get your shit together. Yes, you do. You got to get your shit together. Yes, you do. You got to get your shit together. All right, Captain Tazariak, do you want to... um? clean up this mess um black jesus put out there what's going on do you agree that you made a mistake um speaking out too fast and didn't see the video or what do you want to pull back anything no i don't want to pull back nothing um i just want to clarify uh this has nothing to do with black jesus why i'm on this particular show you can thank sarnetta for that if it wasn't for sarnetta I wouldn't even be on the show because I don't give a fuck about black Jesus like that. Uh, this conversation that took place with General Hyman, as well as those brothers on Clubhouse, took place like maybe like last April or May. Whenever that Jada Pinkett Will Smith event happened, that's when this actually took place. So black Jesus, who's a clear cloud chaser, is just using this uh, to chase me or follow me or get my attention. That's first. Second, when if they that video, them, if you notice when you was watching those two vid those videos, it wasn't one fluid video that they were showing. They was just doing a cut and paste job from two different classes on said subject. I saw both classes when um, I made a statement. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. When I made the statement that I said I didn't see the class, I didn't have to see the class because I was there. So all you got to do is just go to the clubhouse clip and just watch it. I don't have to go see a class if I'm sitting in the class. So I heard what he said at the end of the first class, and then I saw the second class. So we can't use sound bites to make me a liar. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem if y'all believe I'm a liar or not. That's up to y'all. Secondly, uh, Black G, is this a quick yes or no, a uh, few yes or no? Did David commit adultery, yes or no? That's the Black Jesus. Is he still there or no? Yeah, he's uh, yes, still here. Uh, yes, David committed adultery and David was punished. Who was he punished by? He was punished by God. God was about to take his life. He had to beg for his life. And instead of losing his life after God forgave him, God still punished him by taking the life of his firstborn son. What did the prophet say to David that was going to happen to David before David repented? What did the prophet say to David? That he was going to die, brother. Is that all he said? Uh, I'm sure that was a little bit more, but that's what I recall. Okay, so let me see. Now, remember, this is a prophet, a man that's going to David. David, of course, slept with um, Uriah's wife, and then he had Uriah killed. Nobody did nothing about it because, of course, Uriah is the king. So then the prophet came to David. And the prophet's name was Nathan, right? And so I'm going to read. This is 2 Samuel 12. And um, I'm going to start at. I'm, I'm going to have to read a couple of verses so y'all can understand why he's reading his judgment against him. So just bear with me. This is 2 Samuel 12 and 1. And the Lord sent Nathan unto David, and he came unto him and said unto him, There was two men in one city, the one rich, the other poor. The rich man had exceeding many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing, save one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nursed up, and it grew up together with him. And with his children, it did eat of his own meat, and drank of his own cup, and lay in his bosom, and was, and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler unto the rich man, and he spent to take of his own flock, of his own herd, to dress for the wayfaring man that was come unto him, but took the poor man's lamb, and dressed it for the man that was come to him. 
And David's anger was kindled greatly against the man. And he said to Nathan, as the Lord liveth, the man that have done this thing shall surely die. So now the, what David is saying is that the rich man that chose to take from the poor, even though he had the goods to do it himself, he shall surely die from taking from the poor man. Verse seven, I'm sorry, verse six. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold because he did this thing and because he had no pity. So that rich man did not have pity on a poor man. This is verse seven. And Nathan said to David, thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I, would, I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would have moreover given unto thee such and such things. Wherefore hast thou despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword and hast taken his wife to be thy wife and hast slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from thine house because thou hast despised me and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house and I will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto thy neighbor. In the sight of the sun. So is the Lord telling to another man and they're going to sleep with him in front of him? Yes or no? Is that not what I just read? Yes or no? I'm asking you, Black Jesus. Is Black Jesus still there? Can y'all hear me? Sonetta, uh, can brother, you hear me? Uh, brother, repeat your question. Repeat that question again. My, my question is, is the Lord telling David that he's going to take his wives and give them to his neighbor. And then the neighbors are going to sleep with him in front of everyone. Uh, yeah, that, that was a punishment and meaning, meaning that David would be weakened and that his enemies would uh, overtake him and take his wife and, and, and rape him in front of him. And that did happen. Did, it, did, did David never lost any of his wives. That, that was going to oh, be my brother, next question. Brother. Okay. See now, David, now. Okay. Hold on, brother. If you, if you, I, 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 hold, I just, on, hold on, if you're going to, solicit me into your conversation because this is your time to talk i didn't want to say nothing well but but, but my no problem is, if, I, but, hold on brother hold on okay brother. then you then you know yeah, what black jesus you, you ain't got to say nothing fully, no problem fully, you, ain't, you don't have to you don't no, have to say anything speak, else bro. being that no 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 you said it okay, if i'm gonna bring you into this conversation right now i won't i will not i will not ask hey hold on hold on black jesus black jesus please let him finish brother please he was i would not yeah i would not actually with my i would not a black jesus Black Jesus, I will not ask you any more questions. My point of this exercise is because this is a man, a prophet, coming to King David, telling King David that the Lord is going to take David's wives, give them to other men, and they're going to sleep with those men are going to sleep with them in front of him. Now, remember, this is all based off, I'm sorry, not this story, but everybody's in a tissue because General Hyman said, in order for Will Smith to understand which if anybody was listening, that's what he said. This is the only way Will Smith will understand. So he starts saying Jada Pinkett is going to have to get fucked, uh, get sold crack, all of these evil things. Just like this prophet is telling David, his wives are going to be taken from him. That's adultery to give them to another, to sleep with them in front of him. This is what the prophet is saying to David that's going to happen. Verse 12, for thou didst it secretly, but I'm sorry. For thou didst this secretly, but I would do this thing before Israel and before the sun. So now he's saying, I'm going to do this in front of everybody. So the Lord is telling David that he's going to commission adultery to happen to him as his punishment. Again, how be it? This is verse 14. How be it? Because by this deed, thou hast given great occasions to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. The child also that is born of thee shall surely die. And Nathan, Nathan departed unto the house, and the Lord struck that child and David. Now, this is verse 16. David, therefore, besought God for the child, and David fasted and went in and lay upon all night. Now, the whole point of this, David repented and paid for the evil that he did. David never lost none of his wives. None of his wives ever dealt with another man in front of the nation of Israel. There was none of that that took place. 
the point of what Nathan was saying to David was a man of power has to be shown how your power can be taken. And so the exercise General Hyman was showing is that a man of power, Will Smith, that went to Chris Rock and overpowered him, you have to give him something that could make him lose his power. And if I could just further add, this ain't even real. It's, a, it's an analogy of teaching. General Hyman don't know Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, nor Chris Rock, but it's a teaching tool just like this tool that Nathan told David that his wives was going to be taken from him and given to another man. Now, if you actually listen to both classes, as I said, on Clubhouse to those brothers, and as I, as I put on my channel, when you listen to the class, General Hyman says, I'm not um, saying for Chris Rock to do this to um, Will Smith or to sleep with Jada. I'm using it so that Will Smith could know how evil what he did was to Chris Rock by slapping him in public. But because people want to make sound bites, and of course, General Hyman has his way of teaching, which I don't disagree with, it might be a little raw or a little rough when you teach that. So I'll give another example, the same example I gave with them brothers. In John, the sixth chapter, Christ told the children, excuse me, not, I almost want to ask a question, but I don't think he's sound enough to deal with it. In John, the sixth chapter, Christ told the children of Israel they must eat his body and drink his blood. And when he said to eat his body and drink his blood, every single Israelite left him except the 12 disciples that he started with. So just because someone doesn't understand someone's method of teaching does not mean that that teaching is off or sin. It is not a sin to say what somebody should do to teach a lesson. Just like it wasn't a sin for Nathan to tell David that his wife is going to get fucked in front of other Israelite men in the sight of all Israel. That's what the scriptures say. That's what I just read. So if you got a problem with what General Mahaman said, then you have to have a problem with what Nathan said to David. I yield. All right. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, son of can you hear me? Um, you hear turn me? on your camera. Turn on your camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, no problem. Yeah, can you see me, brother? Can Close you the curtain me? behind you. The light, the light is, I, I, is... I'll get it later. I'll get it later, brother. Right now I'm talking. They didn't see my face before. Yeah, I see, I see. I hear you, All right. brother. All right. That's the light of God behind me. That's that's what's going on right now. We're okay. gonna shed some, we're gonna shed some light on this maniacal hood booger. Uh, 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 no yeah. name calling, please, right. brother. Right. Just we just be respectful. If, if we're gonna do insults, if we're gonna do oh, yeah, any that's what insults, I'm saying, Black Jesus. I'm not doing it. I'm only brother. here. I'm okay. only here for Sarnetta. I'm right. not here for Black right. Jesus. Do yeah, not say anything Jesus. slick Come out on, your man. fucking I mouth. Yeah, I got Watch it. your fucking mouth. Uh, brother, you're not scaring nobody over here, bro. Nobody but you. Yeah, but come on, Black Jesus. Be respectful, me, brother. Right. That way you can get All a right, good... Well, let me finish um, talking, bro. All right, I'm, I'm good. Now, brothers and sisters, if you all bought that maniacal explanation and lie in regards to the example of David's wives being raped by his enemies, David's wives, I want y'all to think now, David's wives being raped by his enemies, which was a punishment. This man sits up here, as ISUPK does all the time, making up excuses, making up doctrines to explain away the wickedness that resides in their teaching and their doctrine by comparing adultery, the scriptures of adultery that are all throughout the Bible that involves voluntary, voluntary sleeping with a person whom you are not married to. Rape is rape, but adultery is not rape. This brother just pulled up an example of David's enemies defeating David and taking his wives, as many cultures do all the time in battle and in wars, tribes against one another and so forth, taking the wives, having their way with them, the women of these tribes or nations that they're at war with. Brother, your hand is, is distracting right now, brother. Can you put your hand down, uh, brother? I appreciate that, bro. But brothers and sisters, this man is taking an example of David's enemies defeating him and raping his wives and trying to trickify you classic one west isupk trickification lying telling you all that rape 
and adultery is the same thing. We just read in the scripture that you shall take the adulterer. Let me pull that up. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. It says right here. In we had his responses I'm a little short. Talking, brother. I'm still talking, bro. Leviticus 20 and 10, brothers and sisters. Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed, and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife. Not no war, not no taking booty, B-O-O-T-Y, and taking the women of, of, the, of the nation and the village whom they just defeated. That's not what this is talking about. This is talking about sin. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with the neighbor's wife, the adulterer, which is the man, and the adulteress, the woman, shall surely be put to death. So you mean to tell me, Tazariak, in that horrible lie, trying to cover up your tracks, brother, trying to cover up for yourself and your wicked-ass leader and your wicked-ass organization, you're going to fool the slow-ass people and tell them and show them an example of war and rape. And you're going to say that that's the same thing that your leader, my hymen, is saying the same thing. That's why I told you he's a goddamn beast. He's stupid as hell. Okay, let me go. I'm let not, me go I'm now. Talking, bro. Okay, wait bro, this is, we can't have no, like 10, this time, is not bro. a 10 minute rebuttal. No, we should be, we should not be man, this bro. long. This is my show. If you want to go leave, okay. bro. I'm almost done. No, I just want to, res Brother, I just no, want to respond. Quiet, bro. No, it's not your turn. I'm almost done. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer, the man, and the adulteress, both of them shall surely be put to death. Surely nobody put to death David's wives because they were not willing participants, brother. All right, Black Jesus, let him get him, let him I'm go because you long winded. I'm yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he long he long winded for nothing, and he's the only fucking liar on this set. He talking about time of war. I didn't read a scripture that said anything about a fucking time of war. David never lost a fucking wife. Ever. I'm going to read the scripture again. Don't let, listen, I never have a problem with any charge being brought, but don't let this theatrical nigga try to expound and then say rape, and because that's triggering, rape, oh, rape, oh, war, oh, war. We ain't read nothing about rape or war. And anything that Nathan said to David, this is what Nathan said to David. Nathan said to David, now, therefore, excuse me, verse 11, there, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives. So this is the Lord saying, he will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto his neighbor. The neighbor ain't talking about a nation, and it's going to show you. And he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of the sun. This is a prophet going to David, telling him God is going to have his wives commit adultery. That's why I was asking you, was it wrong or right in this council? That should, according to you, Nathan should not be saying this to David. According to you, this is evil as hell what Nathan is saying to David. For, and then verse 12, it says, for thou didst this secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel, before the sun. But David never lost none of his wives. Show me a scripture where David, one of David's wives got raped, where one where David lost a wife due to war. None of it ever happened because the point wasn't about his wives getting raped. The point was going to get uh, getting committed adultery because adultery ain't rape. Rape is if someone is forced. Adultery is when two willing participants commit the act like David and Bathsheba did. David didn't rape a uh, uh, Bathsheba. So stop bringing rape into this conversation. That's idiotic. That's ignorant. But what's not ignorant is yes, after the Nathan yes, said that to David, Nathan, excuse me, David repented from the evil that he did. This is very, very simple. Again, I can't help it if people can't understand counsel tactics, which is what General Muhammad was doing. And he was using the example of what Will Smith Jada and Chris Rock were intertwined with and gave a lesson on it. It's two lessons. It's not even just one class. 
is two classes. Both classes take up about maybe an hour and a half that they condensed into whatever that 10 to 15 minute video was, which was funny when he was like, fuh, 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 fuh. I mean, it's shit funny, but if you're going to get the lesson, then get the lesson. But don't try to make it seem like he was saying commit adultery because you didn't play the part when he said, I'm not telling Chris Rock to commit adultery. I'm trying to teach them a lesson. That's what it was, a lesson. Oh, so, so you said so he lying. said that in the same video. Yeah. He said oh. that in the, like, that's what I'm saying. In the, in the, he said, I'm not trying, if you, if you listen to the, uh, I was trying to find the video while I was waiting. But if you listen to the entire class, both of them, because the first class where he say, um, uh, this is the only way Will Smith will understand Chris Rock will have to fuck his wife, X, Y, Z, like that. After he makes that statement, the class ends. And then in the very next class, when they play that part, when he said, if I sneeze, it's on purpose. And they try to make it seem like he was intentionally saying the stuff. What he was saying was, I said that to get the reaction so I can give you all the understanding of what I'm teaching in the class. It's that simple. So now once they all listen, he says he brings this scripture that I'm reading here right now where the prophet Nathan went to a king. And why is he using this scripture? Because David, as a king, when he committed that act of adultery, there was nobody to do anything to him. Nobody. Because he's the king. But the prophet came and gave him what the Lord said. So he used that as an example. Will Smith is powerful. How are you going to get through to a powerful man? Oh, I know he loves his wife. So what if he hears your wife is going to get fucked? Your wife is going to do this. Your wife. Then you might understand the pain or agony that you cause. That was the lesson. But these Negroes here, like black Jesus, who's clout chased ISBK forever. Well, I can't even give him credit. The other cat will make the clip and chop it up as if General Hyman is only saying all of this evil shit. You know shit. who the other but brother? That's, that's your brother who made the clip, man. Why are you saying this? That's not my brother. That is, that is not my brother at all. Oh, at all. wow. Y'all been... All right. No. Okay. No, that's not my, that's not my brother. Now, so another... Yes. Um, all right. Uh, brothers and sisters, this man is lying. He can't stop lying. So another, this brother just lied to you. That explanation, this explanation that he's feeding all of you all, this came from Tazariac. Nowhere in the class, nowhere in the video did General Muhammad say anything what Tazariac is saying to y'all right now. This is Tazariac explaining away and defending and lying and covering up for his unholy, wicked-ass leader. That's what's going on right now. Now, he just lied to you, Sarnetta. I want, I'm, I'm going to send you the entire video and I want you to see the explanation that he gave you that he just lied to you and told you that this is what uh, my hymen said. You're a liar, Tazariak. You hear me? And I'm going to send hey, some hey, of the whole damn video, sir. Hey, hey Black I'm Jesus, talking, I got to quit. I'm talking, bro. Come on now. I didn't interrupt you, bro. How can you not? Brother, I just don't understand how two grown men. I, I, I just want to make one statement, Black. I don't see how two grown men. Hold on, Black. Hold on for one minute. He's wait, trying to just, communicate wait, back and forth. No, I don't, want I don't see back how. Right wait, wait, wait. Just listen to me. Just, just listen, listen for one minute, Black Jesus. Just listen to what I'm saying. Like we are two grown. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, Black Jesus. Just one minute, please. Just yo, we are two grown men, yo. Tell we are quiet, two bro. grown men. We no, should be no, able no. to talk, you yo. You need to be quiet. I'm not ready to end the answer any questions from you, brother. Hold your horses, man. <laughs> See, I, you did all that and, and kind of threw me off already. That was a tactic, brother. Please, son, now don't let him do this again, bro. When I finish and when I want to accept a question or get a response from him, it's going to be his turn to do that. Now, brothers and sisters, this man uh, 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 um, said that... Uh, um, Damn. Okay, we know that David was 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 going to die, was going to die, as we just read, as I just read and showed you guys in Proverbs six and third. Oh no, Leviticus twenty and ten. Leviticus twenty and ten. Okay, Leviticus twenty and ten. Sonetta, uh, Tazaria just agreed with me that God initial punishment against David was to kill him because that goes in line with Leviticus 20 and 10. And David got on his face and laid prostrate on, on, on the ground before God. I think for several days, I might be off, begging, 
begging God not to take his life. Do you hear me, son? I he hear was you. Begging, he was begging God because he knew what the punishment was, begging God not to take his life. See, Tazariak wants to distract you all with some with some off the wall stuff. Some off the wall stuff. Okay? Because like I said, those wives, okay, were not willing participants. They were not willing participants. And show me any example in the Bible, Tazariak. Show me an example where God told somebody to go get some crack cocaine and rape them. Justifiably rape them. Because that's that's also you leaving that out. Don't leave that out. The instructions, the first instructions from your unholy, wicked ass leader was to go buy some crack cocaine. Where is that in scripture, Tazariak? We gonna we want you to explain that one away. We want you to allow on that one. And then what did Jesus? What did he say? Jesus? He said Jesus told him to do this. He said Jesus told me to tell Chris Rock to go buy some crack cocaine, seduce his wife with the crack cocaine, and f her. Where is that in scripture, sir? Where is the damn crack cocaine, uh, Tazariak? Now, uh, David got on his face, Sonetta and cried and begged God for his life because he was about to lose it. God was going to kill him. And God had mercy on him and did not exercise the law by killing him and said, you know what? I'm going to let you live. But because the punishment is still death, because the punishment is still death, the death that I was going to put on you is now going to be passed on to your firstborn child and your child will die. So death and the law and punishment was still dealt out against the sin of adultery, but we got Brother Tazariak sitting over here like a like like a like an underling, defying the word of God, not fearing God, not fearing Christ, but fearing his unholy leader, General Muhammad. This is a goddamn shame before God. I'm done. The reason why I said two grown people should have to be able to have a conversation, because he's accusing me of lying, saying because I said there was um, um more to the class. Even in the stupid ass video that he put up, if anybody look at the chat, the first thing I said was, you notice there are two videos. If you just go back to where he said, if I sneeze, it's on purpose, and then go to where they play the part. Will Chris Rock has to fuck his wife? It's in two different settings. One setting, he's sitting in a classroom. The other setting, it's an online stream like we are right here. I don't have to fucking lie. He's an idiot. He's stupid. Extremely, extremely stupid. Because he's going to say I'm lying without proof. He said David uh, repented, got on his knees. Yeah, he did. After he was told that his wives were going to get fucked by somebody else. That's when he repented. Show me where David repented before that. You can't show it. Stop trying to act like you know the Bible when you don't know the Bible. You're just a man that's obsessed with me. That's all you are. That's why in every room on Clubhouse we go to, you sinning yourself. We was in a the room. They talk about Martin Luther King and Malcolm. Black Jesus says, uh, to Zariak, I want you to come to my room at 7 o'clock. I'm not coming to your fucking room. The only way you can ever get entertained by me is if Sinetta calls me. And then I do it for Sinetta. That's my man. I love Sa. I just don't love you. So if you're going to be contextually sound, that's why you won't answer the question. Nathan clearly told David his wives was going to get fucked in front of him and in the front of all Israel. And then David repented along with the other stuff that he was told he was going to do. So don't make it seem like David was going to repent before he heard that. He wasn't going to repent. He was happy having that child with Bathsheba getting away with killing Uriah, thinking nobody knew. That's why it says what you did secretly, I would do openly. That's what the text says about them, about David's wives. The Lord said he was going to have David's wives cheat on him with another man in the sight of everyone. Nobody's going to call that unlawful. Now, because hold they know on, Captain. Who said that? Who said that? Nathan said that to David. I want me to read So the again? Most High gave him permission to, to uh, have his wife cheat. No, that's not the point. Oh, that's what I'm. No, most, that's what I'm trying to get to. Did the Most no, the, High give you, the so, green light though? 
for her to cheat? No, it never happened. No, oh, it okay. never happened. No. Okay. What? So what? I, it's like imagine if you try and like if you know anything about counsel or teaching someone a lesson, mm -hmm. you're gonna say some shit to them so they can understand the pain that they caused. So David had just killed a man for a, to just to take his woman. So the point of what was being said to him was for him to understand the pain that he caused. And then David repented. So as, as General Muhammad is using this as an example, this ain't just this just wasn't just for Will Smith and Chris Rock. This is for anybody that feel nobody can do anything to them. You have to talk to them in a manner where they can understand the pain that they caused. That's why in the follow up class, General Muhammad says, I'm not telling Chris Rock to do this. I'm trying to help get Will Smith to understand what he did. As soon as I find the class, I'll just put it in a link. It's not. This is not a difficult thing to deal with. That's why I don't understand why um, Black Jesus won't admit that Nathan did tell David that his wives was going to get fucked by another man, but they never did. And that's when David repented. I was trying to have a back and forth with him, but you can't do that with Black Jesus. But that's what happened in the text. You cannot get around that. All right. I got two or three questions for you, Captain. Uh, Captain Tazari. As long as you're that. not going to be long-winded when you uh, ask brother, the questions, I'm three fine. Three questions, bro. Can't be long-winded with three, with three questions, brother. Uh, Captain Tazari, did King David and Bathsheba Sheba, willfully commit adultery? Yes. And what is the punishment for adult for adultery, the adulterer and the adulteress? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Uh, we can go to the why, audience. Why you, we done, why, bro. I ain't why, got wait, hold on, to hold say, on. Bro. Why, uh, one second. Why are you at? Why would you ask me that? You just why answered you my ask question, you, brother. We we just ended all this fiasco with you trying to distract the people about Nathan and his other and David's other wives. Bro, stop, brother. I believe the word, you don't, brother. Brother, I'm a Christian. And you're and you're one West Israelite, and we Christians Correct. fear God, and we believe the word of God as it is written. Why am I sitting up here talking with you for 10 or 15 minutes about adultery? And you're trying to justify what your wicked ass leader taught you and taught the whole world and all of ISUPK that it's okay to go buy crack cocaine. I'm still waiting on you to find the crack cocaine scripture. Where's the crack cocaine scripture, brother? Where is that? Because he didn't give instructions just this to speak with Will Smith, right? I'm, on, I'm talking, bro. He didn't just give instructions to Will Smith to speak with his wife. He All right, said, I got the lines open, y'all. Anybody want to come in and ask the Zariac a question? Or oh, Black yeah, Jesus, the up. line is open. Yeah. Oh, first, Black Jesus, yeah, yeah, oh, the Captain finish, left. Finish, one minute, two minutes. The, the thing that he, your leader, Mahayman, told the entire world and instructed all I'm sorry. the world, was to go, the first thing he said, that Jesus told him, that Jesus told him, that Jesus told him, that Jesus told him to tell Chris Rock was to go buy some crap this is, cocaine, bro. This is That's the disconnect thing. that we're having. Can y'all hear me? Still, yeah, up. yeah. All right, hey, hold this on, is Black the disconnect. Jesus, Black Jesus. Okay, up, this Captain. is the disconnect. I want everybody I'm about to, to know put the this link in the chat. Are, I mean, the lines is open. Hit the link if you have any question for the captain or Black Jesus minister. Come on and cut the cameras no on. And this hey, I'm about to put the video. Hey, I'm about to put the video to the actual class that he said Jenna Mahayman didn't say those things. Yeah. I'm gonna put this video in the chat. So Do I you can know show the timestamp? That would be good. Yeah, I'm gonna get the go time. right to the timestamp right there. Hold up. Okay, no sweat. I'm putting the link in the chat right now. Just give me a second. I'm gonna go to the timestamp. But this is where we have the disconnect. Now, I just put that link in the chat. So, Black Jesus, stop calling me a liar. When I say there was a second class. There absolutely was a second class. You can start at the one hour. Um, hold on. And 40 minute mark. One hour and 40 minute mark. When you finish. What is it? Timestamp? The, the one hour and about 40 minute mark. You'll okay. see he does that. That in this video right here. Uh -huh. And the clip that you play when he said, if I sneeze, it's on purpose. You heard that part, right? Uh, I sure did. Right. That's the class that you said he didn't say the things that I said he said. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. I would suggest you go back and listen to that class, and then you'll see if Jenna Mahayman is saying to go commit an actual <laughs> sin. I, I know it hurt because you didn't think that video was coming. That's why he's laughing. I know it hurt. I got you bad, bro. Here, here, okay. Are you quiet now? 
I, yeah, I'm I got quiet. you, right. See, you no can still play games with the slow people. You can play games. If you could just tell me what you got, uh, 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 I would no, no, appreciate no, no, don't play it. it yet. I'm talking right now. Hold on. Can you hear me, Sonetta? Let me respond to what this man just said. Can you hear me, Sonetta? Sonetta. Okay, well, let me, I hope I'm being heard. Can you hear me, Tazariak? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Yeah, I can okay. hear you. I can hear you what just I'm fine. saying, Tazariak, you're being slick again, bro. How am I being okay, slick? I, if you I'm can explain it you being slick. Okay. Because okay. you just said in his own video, the second class. This is what he said in the second class. See, in the second class, after everybody heard it and everybody was talking and everybody was coming at y'all, then, yes, he did a second class to mm. try to clean it up. Mm. Uh -oh. No problem. So the, the two. Brother, uh, so here. So like, let's say, bro. let's say if. Uh, hold on. Hold on one bro, second. Bro. Let me just let me just show no, you something. Finish, the second class no, was two no, days brother, later. Brother. Can you the second class finish, was two days later. All right, hold on, Captain. Let him go. Let no, no me problem. finish, bro. You're being slick, sir, and it's recorded. You said the second class. You damn right it's the second class. This is the second class where he's now trying to clean it up, just like you on here trying to clean it up. He did not say what you said he said during the first time he said it, which was the first class. You all right, all right. he said the same thing, brother. You need play the video. That's that's all that's all all he does. Hey, hey Sinetta, hey, that video Sinetta just let me finish. Well Sinetta said for you to stop. I only stop. Oh wait, Sinetta said for you to stop. I didn't let me play the video. Okay, but don't say I interrupted you. Sinetta said to stop. That's all I need. Go ahead, Black Jesus. Thank you. So again, brothers and sisters, this is a second class, as Tazaria said, where he's trying to clean it up. But he did not say this when he gave the original instructions in the first class. Thank you. Let's go. All right. No problem. But Sonetta, when you play that, you're gonna have to it's about it's go from the hour 47 minute mark all the way to the end, which is two hour to the two hour 38 minute mark. No, I can't you, play all that, man. That's what I'm saying. So it's because it, the whole reason I said, first of all, the class was only two days later. Nobody had even known about the class. That's the whole point. Like he trying to make like this is all hindsight. What he's talking about because again, this is nine months ago, nine months ago, and so when he makes the class, then he makes the follow up class, which was two days later, and then that video that you got in your screen right there, that's where he says, "If I sneeze, it's on purpose," and then that's where he continues the lesson that he was teaching, and you know it was intentional because if you go to the first class, he only says that statement. And then he gets up and walks off. He doesn't break nothing down. He just left it just right there so he can teach it two days later. So there is no everybody was complaining and he had to do it. That just doesn't exist. So now let's just look at the timestamp. Black Jesus tried to accuse me of lying, saying I didn't see the video when I was in the class. Black Jesus didn't try to say there wasn't no second class. That's also a lie. Black Jesus also tried to deny that David only repented after he was told his wives was going to get fucked by somebody else in the sight of all Israel, he was going to get punished. He was going to get stoned, not stoned. He was going to lose his kids and violent would lose his house. So I can't help it if y'all can't understand the lesson. Hey, so I probably got like 15, 20 more minutes. All right. All right. All right. So uh, let me bring in Joel Armstrong. You got the floor, brother. Do you have a question? Who's Joel Armstrong? Who's that? I don't know. Joel from B more. Hey, can from you hear me okay? Hey, yeah, I hear you hey, just do, fine, brother. Do you have a question, stop. brother? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, no, my, my, my question is, with all the negativity going on towards women in our community, why would somebody even use an example like that? Like, like because, if, if, if we're uh, trying to raise, if we're trying to raise young and mature males to men. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't use an example where you, you know, teach them how to, you know, even if it's an example, you, you don't put something out there where you say, take advantage of a woman rather than just deal with the dude that you got a problem with. That's not, how's that, how's that teaching us to be responsible male? That's my question. So the, e the reason for that is because the woman was the object of his affection that caused him to strike Chris Rock. So the point of the lesson was about showing him how much pain he caused to Chris Rock. So it had nothing to do with telling Chris to go and do it in real life, but it is a way that you give counsel. That was the whole point. 
nothing was ever just like nothing was going to happen to David's wives. They just wanted him. The Lord was just trying to show him how painful that was. Using that as an example is to show how painful that felt. That's how you made Chris Rock feel. That's the point. All right, so, all right. Let's say, so, let's say if it was like um, something that happened. I understand what you're saying. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying, Kat. I understand what you're saying. What you're saying. But it is, but, 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 all right, remember how I, I prefaced this. We're trying to teach immature, you, 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 got, you got young, immature males. When I say young, not so much age, but I'm talking about in the mind. And you're trying to bring these people to mental health. Why would you use an example like that? So I think, um, I, well, I tell, what, what I can say for sure is nobody in my school ever thought General Mahama said to actually go buy crack and sell crack. How, I how say you y'all know this, Cap? How you know this? Because we don't buy, sell, or use crack. We don't commit adultery. We don't do none of those things currently in the ICBK. But we do counsel. And again, I'm going to ask you the same thing. Was Nathan wrong for saying the exact same thing to David that I just read? Nathan clearly told David, I'm going to take your wives. They're going to get fucked in front of your neighbor and in the sight of all Israel. You did it secretly. I'm going to do it openly. Was Nathan wrong for saying that to David? I'm not going to sit here and say Nathan was right or wrong. What I am going to say is that (laughs) I I would say Nathan was wrong, bro. Okay, he was fine. wrong I'm, saying that openly to David. Yes, oh, the, oh, Captain. If I if somebody go to you and tell you I'm gonna f your wives, isn't that wrong, brother? They saying, well, he's saying, thus saith the Lord. Like he's saying, this is what the Lord well, is saying. Well, well God up, damn it, what did Black Jesus minister come to you and said, thus said the Lord, Captain? If he's my counselor, if he's a prophet, is 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 he a prophet? And not not the stupid ignorant cat that he is. Nah, it don't is he matter what prophet? the hell he is. No, 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 so no, so no, now here's here's why no, here's why no, this matters. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's say he is okay, a prophet. Okay, now here's why here's why that here's why that's important because nobody else did anything or said anything to David. It was only a prophet of God that was even able to come to David and talk like that and get David to understand the pain that he was in. So All every right. man, so every man can't talk to every man like that Facts. but a prophet of god can talk to a man like that to get them to understand so let's let's imagine if you got some wild ass gangbang out there in the street and then let's say somebody that don't live that street life he can't talk to him in the street another gang member can talk to him in the street one that comes from weight. his exactly because he whole weight and he's respected right. so no, can't no anybody can't just have this conversation with David, nor can anybody have this conversation with Will Smith. But I the man, so 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 that means be, be, because because the leader of your group holds weight, so that means that the people who listening to him are going to deal with their issues from a negative way and, and get back at somebody's peoples rather than deal with the person they got a problem with. They, that's they not the point. Hold, so. But so that's what how I would they suggest, take it though. That's how no, they not, take not, it. not if they, if they, he they profit, right? So he if they profit. look at it, if you look at it from watching that short clip that you watched, mm-hmm. I would probably agree because it's just sound bites. But if you actually listen to the class, the point of the class is that no matter how powerful you are, you're supposed to have compassion on somebody that's weaker than you. That's the point of the class. Like the he, he said, take but advantage you, of the person we could but you, but, which but was, you cannot um, use the, one, the wife. So right now, that class is about an hour and 40 minutes. You can't use a 16-minute edited clip and then make that the hour and 40-minute class. I mean, it's funny. It sounds good. It ain't but, funny to me. I, it's disturbing, dude. <laughs> I mean, right, hey, I'm I'm gonna gonna don't know what to tell you. Cat. I'm about hey, no sweat. I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. All right, it. all right. Let's go to Morpheus, man. What's up, Morpheus? Let, let, let me, let me, let me uh, respond to that. Let me respond to that. But nobody was talking to you, as usual. Uh, let me respond to that, guys. I want y'all to listen very carefully. We heard General Mahiman, the leader of, of Captain Tazariak. Tazariak, he said, is saying that after Mahiman tried to clean it up, that he's given an example about how or uh, Will Smith should feel of a hypothetical thing for him to do to make Will Smith feel a, a certain type of way. Brothers and sisters, we heard, and you guys got the video link. We heard Mahiman say, and that's going to end all this madness. 
Because, see, we still waiting on the crack scripture, uh, Tazariac. We still waiting on the crack scripture, bro. Okay? The crack cocaine script. Because your leader and everybody looking at the video said that Jesus told him. And if he was counseling, counseling, giving advice, giving instructions, we ain't talking about no damn hypothetical metaphor. We ain't talking about no simile. We ain't talking about nothing symbolic. Your leader, the unholy Mohammed, said that Jesus, in the spirit of Jesus Christ, that he must, that he must, that he must do this. Not no damn example. What the all hell? right, all right. We got to go on I'm to the next clip. I'm almost done, bro. Brothers and sisters. He don't know how to be short. Oh, brother, excuse me, bro. Uh, brothers and sisters, we heard my hymen say that he received instructions from We Jesus. heard that already back, Jesus. And You're that, going over the same brother, thing. And that when you ain't got nothing to say, you got to be repetitive. Uh, when brother, you ain't got nothing to say. Me, bro, bro, I would have been done already, son. And, uh, All right, go ahead, man. I would have been done already. Uh, so again, to both of you, your brothers and everybody here, these are instructions. Don't let Tazariac come over here and fool you and make a sip out of you. These were instructions that he said he received from Christ to give to what? To give to Chris Rock and that he must do this. He must do this if he's going to be a man. And to Zariac said that what? Adultery is a sin and the punishment of adultery is death. Brothers and sisters, hey. y'all listen to the play play. Go ahead. Uh, to All right. Hey, Morpheus, hey, before you, you, call, before you let you Morpheus call, go, Morpheus. I, won't, I won't be that long. Before you go, General Mahayimbe didn't say Jesus told him anything. He said in the spirit of Christ, meaning the counsel that he's given. He never said Christ said anything. What's up, mm -hmm. Morpheus? Yo, peace. What's up, man? What's up, Cap? What's up, everybody? Oh, peace. Um, right, peace. I, I'm going to be real peace. short. Uh, first of all, uh, Black Jesus, uh, first of all, hold up, Captain, that class that you said, you said that class was uh, was in public. It was private, correct? No, it was public. Okay. So if it was public, right, my question is first, uh, Black Jesus Minister, how many people that watched the class walked away with the same understanding that you got right now? And the reason why I'm asking that, yeah. watch it, let me finish. The reason why I'm asking that question is because we here in a, 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 a Black community, we got a history knowing ISUPK. And in their history, we might not agree on a lot of things when it comes with a, a, a scripture, but we can agree that ISUPK uh, uh, pride themselves on cleaning people up, right, from uh, uh, drugs in the streets, and they always uh, 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 talk about drugs and, and, and cleaning people, the brothers and sisters, off of drugs and so forth. So knowing that, why would it make sense logically for him uh, 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 what's your brother's name? Uh, General, General Mahayman? Yeah, Mahayman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would it make sense for him to instruct people to go to get cocaine or whatever, knowing the history of ISUPK, it's obviously that something else is meant by what he's saying. So knowing their history of, of talking against drugs and cleaning people up, it would seem logical that that's not what he's doing. So knowing that, why would you, why would you, you know, I'm trying to figure out how, how would you come to that conclusion? Uh, brother uh, Morpheus, dear brother, uh, I don't know if you got here late, brother, but did you hear the replay of the video here? Were you here while the replay was going on, sir? Yeah, I heard the sound bites. I heard the sound okay, bites. Okay, 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 hold on, okay. So did you hear him say that in the spirit of Christ that he must go purchase crack cocaine and not only just go purchase crack cocaine, go get the best cocaine because they, they, don't, they got better cocaine than New York. Go get it from Kensington, uh, Kensington, Philadelphia. He gave you details, bro. Did He's you hear? Not, but, no, bro, 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 don't interrupt me, bro. You over talked me, bro. I didn't interrupt you. Did you not hear him give those details, Morpheus? By where to go buy the best cocaine? Did you hear those details, sir? You gonna Morpheus, let me talk? Give me a clean answer, are, Morpheus. Are you, are you going to let me answer? Morpheus, no, don't talk to him. brother. Don't take too long, bro. Well, Come you on, you now. Ask me a you question. Me you 
Are you going to let me no, answer? Brother, I want a quick answer so I can continue. You're not, you're not going to direct my answer, bro. Oh, okay, time, brother. See, uh, you, oh, you'll be a full of games. I'm through with you, bro. No, 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 I'm going to respond. I'm not going to ask you no more questions because you over here playing a trick bag. You're trying to make trick okay. bags out of brother. Stop. I'm talking, bro. You're trying to make trick bags out of the people right now. Shame on you, Morpheus. Okay, brother. I'm, working, bro. I'm talking right now, bro. It's not I, working, bro. Brother, I'm talking. Damn. <laughs> Yo, I agree with you, Morpheus. <laughs> that it is a damn conundrum. To sit up here and profess that you clean people up, and then in the same goddamn person, in the same damn breath, he's giving Will Smith, I mean Chris Rock, details on where to go buy the best cocaine. And say, no, no, bro, stop, bro. I don't want to hear from you, bro. I heard you. I'm talking. Let me finish, man. We heard you. He gave details, bro. Ain't no goddamn metaphor or no damn similes or some kind of example in no damn details on where to go buy the best crack cocaine. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why what you said no, don't work. Let me tell, let me tell no, you why no, what you said. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Hold up, everybody stop, stop, man. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. stop. Everybody stop. stop. Everybody stop. stop. Yo, Let everybody me tell you stop. Let you why what you saying don't work. No, don't everybody stop. Nobody can hear y'all. Black Jesus, you got to be a little quicker with your statements, man, so we can move forward. All right, it's on you, Black Jesus. Then we're going to hear from Morpheus, brother. Please, man. You're too long with it for nothing, No, 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 no. Let's go. I would have been done if the man didn't interrupt me. I got like 10 more minutes. All right, Captain. I would have been done. Now, here I go. So, Morpheus, my dear brother, I agree with you. That is a damn conundrum. That is an oxymoron. To profess that you clean people up, but out of the same mouth to give details on where to buy the best cocaine in Kensington or Philadelphia. Everybody in Kensington, Philadelphia ought to feel some kind of goddamn way about that. And then tell the world and to tell him that he must, that he must F, 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 Jada Pinkett Smith in the spirit of Jesus Christ, brother. It's a damn conundrum and I don't have an answer, bro. Thank you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Real quick. All right. Let me tell you why this is all a game. Because you just took what that brother said literal. Any other time when we bring something out the Bible, y'all don't that, that's literal. You'll quickly say, nah, brother, that's not what that means, brother. What it really means is so and so and so and so. Let me finish. Let me Bottom finish. Line, brother. Thank you, man. Right. Any other time. Right, if Sutton had to read something and it says bong, 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 you'll say, nah, brother, you don't have the understanding. That's not what that really means. That's not what that really means. So you want to pick and choose this game about when it's literal and when it's not. Now, I don't know how long you've been here in the conscious community. You kind of knew here, brother. You kind of, we got a history of years before you even popped up of ISUPK on the streets trying to get people off a of drug. So knowing that, like I said, you a new cat on the block, right? You knew, right? So we got a history of that. We got a history. So it wouldn't make sense knowing the history, knowing that that brother would be saying, hey, y'all, go get some drugs. And he literally means that. But you want to play this literal game when it fits you. Nah, it don't work. I'll pass, y'all. Uh. Uh... All right, Sarnetta, if you're talking, we can't hear you, sir. Sarnetta, if you're talking. All right, let me bring on Maharika is in the building. Shout out to Maharika. Shalom, brother. What's up? Hey, before you let that brother go, if I could just make a closing statement, please, I'd appreciate it. Oh, you don't want to be here when he speak? Nah, not at all. Oh, just... okay. Go ahead, Captain. Move. No swear. Um, I appreciate uh, Sarnetta being, bringing me into this panel. That's the only reason I came on this panel. Without him, I wouldn't have been on this panel. I do not Thanks, entertain Captain. Black I appreciate it. No sweat. I do not entertain Black Jesus. I would suggest I don't need anybody to actually believe our position. I don't need anybody to believe how General Muhammad taught. Don't really care. The only thing that I ask is that you don't listen to a soundbite, but you listen to the class, both classes, whether you want to listen to the little two-minute or three minute 
ending of the first class or the hour long or whatever uh, finishing of the class on the second class, then whatever position that you make. But I should be K does not condone breaking commandments, but we do know how to counsel and we do know how to do this work. Um, that's the first part. Second part, I got a 25% off sale off of my call gas uh, line. Y'all know it formerly is TLC. So it's the same body butters and body oils. A few new scents I got called Unfuckwittable. This is a clear example <laughs> of Black Jesus. Mm-hmm. As the, name of the, the name of the oil is actually called Unfuckwittable for men and women. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you've been coming up with some nice titles, though. I love it. Yeah, wow, yeah, yo, I call it call it unfuckwittable <laughs> for men and women. I also have um, ineffable for men and women. And I thought ineffable meant unfuckwittable, but actually, when you look up ineffable, it means um, it's like a word so so strong and powerful is not a word for it. So that's ineffable. Mm. Also have dec- decadence, uh, gold. And black code uh, for men. So I have a 25% off sale. Uh, make sure you support. It'll be like for like another week or so. Make sure you support that. Sai, I spoke to Wack as well. Also, you want, me, you want me to speak about that, Sai? No. Yes, go ahead and speak about it. Go ahead. Okay, so y'all know on Clubhouse, I'm like, just like I'm the man on the House of Consciousness, I'm also the man on Clubhouse. That's why everybody clout chased me. And um, my man, Wack, that I was able to build a good rapport Wack relationship 100. with, Wack 100. I'm bringing WAC 100 to the House of Consciousness. And I was telling Sarnetta, like, WAC 100 on Clubhouse is damn near what, like, Sarnetta is on the YouTube. I can only imagine how the two of them will be once they clash. But I already <laughs> yeah, spoke. Right. I He's already Aries, spoke. you said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So shit. I, yeah, so y'all both. Listen, he like, listen, he like all that fire, all that fire and shit you got. He going to match that same energy. Um, so I'm bringing these two brothers together. I already spoke to WAC 100. Um, he agreed to do the interview on Sinetta's channel. Uh, we're just trying to work out the time. We get the questions and stuff like the, that together. It should be tomorrow. So yeah. um, just waiting to um, get back from him. Sinetta, I'll confirm that. I appreciate you bringing me on. Shalom. All right. Peace, brother. Thank you. Shalom. Peace. No swear. All right. Mahara Khan is in the building. Peace and shalom to you, my brother. How you been, Mahara Khan? <laughs> What's what's going on, man? Yo, uh, unmute yourself. Hey, Shalom. What what's you do, the captain, man? What's going on? Yo, man, listen. Black Jesus hit me up. Shout out to Black Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? Me and Black Jesus are debated and all that. We did and all that, whatever, right? You know what I'm saying? But he hit me up about the clip I did because when I heard that, like everybody else in Israel heard it, it was just mind blowing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. You see what I'm saying? And Listen, that's no respect to persons, man. Because, you know, Captain said, that ain't my brother. I thought we all Israelites. Mm. How how am I not your brother? Am am I not an Israelite? You know what I'm saying? I'm from the original ISUBK. Y'all guys is the new ISUBK, first and foremost. Was you there before, Captain? Captain was no way around. Didn't even exist. Okay, but I'm not trying to bash him, but Captain be trying to disrespect. You feel me? I was Mm. there with the original seven heads, the eldest. Okay, in 1993. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's right. just let's just stop the madness, man. And I did, I I did the video. You see what I'm saying? Because I heard the joint on on Clubhouse, and I was like, you know, what I'm saying I watched the video. I said, Nah, man, this is ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? How can you clean this up? You said the man said what he said out of his, out of his mouth, right? If I was if if I was to counsel him. I will tell him to do this and that. I'm the counselor. I'm going to tell you to go do this. You can't clean that up. How can you clean it up? I'm I'm a teacher of the most high. I'm a priest, pastor, whatever you want to call me, whoever it is. And they say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you clean it up? I watch both videos. I don't jump out the window. I watched the original video, the second video, and even in the second video, he stood on the same damn statement. Because these dudes is proud as hell, man. He stood on it. He didn't retract a damn thing. I watched both of them thoroughly. I'm not going to go out there and put a video out there and lie on nobody. Straight like that. I'm not going to do that. The scripture mm. says, examine the matter, man, before you rebuke, man. I examine the whole thing. I watched all the videos. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I already knew in the spirit cleaning up. It's a cleanup crew. That's all it is, cleanup. 
And then the brother on here lying about the prophecy concerning um, David and his wives. It's a clear lie. If you go to 2 Samuel 12 right now. What? Hold on, man. Pull up the scripture, man. Oh, I'm man. Hold on. The Bible. You're not going to lie on the Bible. You're not going to lie. You know you know how I get it in, man. I'm not letting nobody lie on the scriptures, man. Okay? Straight up. I don't care who thou art. Second you know Samuel's what? Go to Second Samuel 12 and just read verse um start with um start with 11, I believe. Start with 11. Thank Jesus. Yes, sir, I'm here. Yes, sir. Pull it up. Pull it up. Second okay, Samuel. All right. Let me Let's get up. it. Okay, hold it down right quick. I got to run in the bathroom. Hold it down. Okay. Okay. Hurry okay. up because I want to pull it up before I go. Yeah, Samuel. Okay. Second Samuel. Uh, and what, brother? 12, 11. 12. Okay. Yeah. Second Samuel 12. KJV. KJV, brother? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go to sign my team. All right, I'm finna share my screen. All right, present, share screen, share the whole screen. All right, so that if you will pull it up. Right all right, now. all right, it's up, it's up there. Okay, all right, uh, uh, and you said what verse, brother? Second Samuel 12 and what? Start with verse 11. Verse start 11. With, uh, verse 11. All right. Now start with Shall 10. Shall I read, brother? Shall I read? Start with 10. Start with 10. All right. Verse 11. Thus start saith with the ten. Lord. Start with, ten. start with 10. Oh, 10. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gotcha. Second Samuel 10. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thine house because thou hast despised me and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Verse okay. 11. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thine wives before thine eyes and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. So hold on. So we're going to use this scripture, right, to, to try to compare and contrast or compare it with general stumbling block statements, right? Because that didn't happen with general stumbling blocks there, right? That didn't happen, right? It didn't happen because it was a statement. It was an off ass statement, but it didn't happen in real life. So he's trying to use this scripture as if it didn't happen in real life by saying nothing happened to David's wives. He never lost his wives. That's a goddamn lie. The most I ain't gonna sit there and say to his prophet Nathan, this is what I'm gonna do and not make it good. You bugging. Negroes just be lying the damn clean up shit straight like that. And I'm sitting over here trying to send black Jesus the script because I really don't want to get on a joint. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You asked me to use the video. That's fine. But you're not going to sit there and lie, blankly lie on the scripts, bro. Just to justify bullshit. And what was said was wicked as hell. I was off. That's just what it is, man. You can't just say I was off. And if I'm co-signing some shit, I'm not going to say it's off. I'm just going to coast out of chicken. That's my man to them. This, 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 the Bible is not about man pleasing nobody, dude. Period. There's mad people that was cool in Israel as a light they ass up. That's just what it is through the spirit of the Most High. So now, did this happen? This, was this prophetic? Did it happen? All right. What I miss? What I miss, man? We read in 2 Samuel. So you wasn't even there. We read in 2 Samuel 12 and 10. Read it so Sinatra can hear. All read right. it so Sinatra can hear. All right, we're at 2 Samuel 10, and it's at 12 and 10, 2 Samuel 12 and 10, and you should see it on the screen. Do you see it on the screen, sir? No. Yes, I see it. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from thine house, because thou hast despised me and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Verse 11, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of the sun. Now, my this is my statement before you got back. I said, yo, 
Cass is trying to use this scripture, right, to compare to General Stumbling Block statements, right, concerning his counsel to tell Will, I mean, to tell Chris Rock to go smash on Jada Pickett, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, that didn't happen in real life, right? Chris Rock ain't smash Jada Pickett. Nothing happened between that. So now you're trying to use this scripture and compare in comparison, like, as if this didn't happen. The Most High is not going to give a prophecy and send a, a, a prophet to David, and it's not going to come to pass. That's some bullshit. He tried to make it seem like, oh, he didn't lose his wives. Nothing happened to his wives. He just made a statement like General Yehiman or General Stumbling Block did. What was wrong with that? Is it right? Is it wrong? This, this happened, dude. What are you talking about? We're going to prove it right now. So Negroes is lying, frankly lying on the scriptures. Like, you see what I'm saying? That's crazy right here. So go to 2 Samuel 16. Let's go a few chapters over. Let's see if it didn't happen. Boy, All right. Uh, crazy. Verse 16. And verse 20, 16. man. Read verse 20. Like, oh, did this come to pass? Or he was just talking like General Stumbling Block was. Right? He's trying to make 20. it seem like what he said was just, you know, in the spiritual realm of the scriptures. And, you know, just get the hell out of here, man. He said the hell he said, man. Multiple times. The first video, the second video, I watched both videos. I watched the whole thing. Group, took notes and all that. I'm not going to do a class or do a video and lie on somebody. I'm not going to do that, man. Period. But go ahead. Read that. All right. 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel 12, verse 20. No, 2 Samuel 16th chapter and the 20th verse. Oh, I'm sorry. 16th chapter. I'm sorry, brother. Okay. Now, I'm just, you know, I'm going to calm down. It's just crazy. I don't know. You know, we know this is a, 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 a channel with all type of brothers and sisters that have different perspectives of knowledge, right? I represent the scriptures. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? If I go off and I went off plenty of times in my walk, I'm not going to justify shit. It is what it is, bro. I'm not going to bend the scriptures and twist the scripture because I fell off or did this at the third. No. Now read that. Let's see if, right. let's see if this is true or not, the statement that was made. Let's see. 2 Samuel 16 and what verse? Verse 20. Verse 20. All right. Babe. 2 Samuel 16, verse 20. Then said Absalom to Ahithophel. I hope I said it correctly. Ahithophel, give counsel among you what we shall do. So now this is Absalom. Who is Absalom? This is one of David's sons that he rose up in his house to be an enemy against David. He usurped the throne. Okay? And he loved Absalom. Absalom was handsome. He had long hair, long hair, and a whole nine. The enemy that rose up in his house was his own son, Absalom. Go ahead. And, and so, uh, uh, so he's getting counsel from a prophet, right? Uh, 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 his counsel. Go ahead. Verse 21, and Ahithophel said unto Absalom, go in unto thy father's concubines. Stop. Go into thy father's concubines. What is a concubine? A concubine is a wife. It's a lower ranked wife. Like when you read Deuteronomy 21st chapter concerning fight, where cats try to quote, finding a wife of another nation. And if you desire for her to be your wife, there's things you must do to deal with her. Like, Chop, paw her nails, shave, shave her hair, take care of her. Just that the third, thirty days you can lay with her, and she be your wife, right? Like, like Jacob had two women that was not of the lineage, Rachel of Rachel and Leah. They were considered concubines. That's why Ruth the fourth chapter only acknowledged Rachel and Leah. That says these two did build the house of Israel because these were servant women. Okay, concubine, Leviticus, Exodus, the 20th chapter, the 17th verse, handmaids, look it up in a blue letter. Those concubines, get out of here. They still his possession. They still belong to him. Those still his women. What are you talking about? Those are his wives. Go ahead. All right. Uh, verse 21. And Ahithophel said unto Absalom, go in unto thy father's concubines, which he had left to keep the house, and all Israel shall hear that thou art abhorred of thy father. 
then shall the hands of all that are with thee be strong. Verse 22. So they spread Absalom a tent upon the top of the house, and Absalom went in unto uh, his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Boom. Boom. He went in, got it in, smashed it, lay with all ten of his women. Dad, finish reading, man. <laughs> Verse 23. And the council of Ahithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of God. So was all the council of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. So Epiphethel was ordained by the Most High to bring forth this council, yes, right? It happened. So the brother was straight lied on the scriptures, yeah? He straight lied, yeah, okay? So like, nothing happened to David's wife. David yeah, never family. married, never mm -hmm. dealt with them women again after that, okay? He never dealt with them after that. So how are you going to say he never lost his wives? He, couldn't, he didn't lay with them mm -hmm. after that. Okay, mm, that scripture powerful up. scripture. I'll pull that scripture up right now. Let me let me get that right quick. But come on, man, stop playing, bro. Stop lying on the scriptures, man. Niggas is lying out here. You said what you, you, General Stumbling Block said what he said more than one time. I slowed it up for you. I extra slowed it up for you. I showed it this, that, the third. Both classes, he said the same thing. I watched both. Did you listen to the class? No. <laughs> so now you was in the class. Now you was in the class. Why you didn't say I was there in the class then? Why would you say my God class? Lion no, ass I, nigga. Why would you say I was in the class from Jump Street? If niggas say ass nigga. the class, I'm gonna say nigga, I was in the class. All right, calm down, cat. Um, calm down, uh Black Jesus. God damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to say I'm in the class. It will be no nothing, it will be nothing for nobody to say. <laughs> Set the record straight, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was powerful right there, Mahara Khan. You came oh. in with the with, with the scriptures. Come on. You came man. in with it. <laughs> Listen, oh, the man. Cut. The scriptures cut, man. You can say whatever you want to say, fam. Yeah. yeah. But when them scripts come, ain't nothing you can say. But running foul. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So I want to make sure that the people watching. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm over here burning. I'm up and sending in the scriptures and all that. Like, yo, I, bring this out, man. Because we can't just let this statement just go out there like, like nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Stop playing, man. This, this baby fool right here. This, this baby fool for real. Yeah. But yeah, man, I mean. Hey, when you, when now, Harakar, let me ask you. Why are there so many different groups of Israelites in, in Harlem by itself in, in New York when y'all all come out of the one West? There's like over 15 or 20 groups out here in, in Harlem. I mean, I mean, it's simple, brother. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not hard because we are dealing with men. We're dealing with men. And when you're dealing with men, you're dealing with ego, right? Mm -hmm. You're dealing with attitudes. You got people beefing with each other. You got people trying to shut men down, like brothers that have potential, right? They try to suppress them. You see what I'm saying? Right, yeah. so they won't shine and won't bring forth their light that the most high gave them. You said most high is not gonna bring you to his wisdom and knowledge, understand, so another man can regulate the spirit he gave you. You see what I'm saying? So the most high is gonna separate separate his teachers so they can go forth over here and teach. And one little school and camp can't go everywhere. Okay, so brothers over here. I'm I came into school when I came to school, they came, they created something called the trooper program. It was a two-year program. I said this before, two years on Sunday. From nine to nine, we were trained history, um, language, scriptures, martial arts, all the different things you could think of. We was trained, okay? And at the end of the two years, we was going to get an officer rank of 50, and we was commissioned to go out to different cities and bring forth the word throughout the country, okay? Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. In the 90s, the, the truth was basically really for real in Harlem, I mean, New York City. Coming mm -hmm. from the Messianic Hebrews, you had the Old Testament in Brooklyn. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But through the brothers going over to California, going to all New Mexico, going over to Oklahoma, going over to the Midwest, then the word start going further out west from the Messianic Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes 
this, that, and the third, the whole nine. So at the end of the day, the Most High controls everything. He's going to let his brothers, his, his disciples, his teachers, his pastors, ministers go out for, go forth and bring forth the word. Regardless, of, this is not about who, who agree with us or agree with we teaching or anything like that. I'm just giving you a, a clear explanation that and look at it spiritually. If, if everybody's under one banner or under one head, chop the head off, it's over. Now, if you're going to be chopping heads of leaders in Israel, then you're going all over the place. You got a mm -hmm. lot of heads to be chopping. You see what I'm saying? So it's all it's all good because now if you chop my head off, that, that's not going to stop the Zarya. Yeah, that's not going to stop Daniel Allah. That's not going to stop the Shah. That's not going to stop the Zabak. That's not going to stop the Hunt. That's not going to stop nobody, bro. Every, all these brothers out here, Shikari, everybody going to be teaching the word. What's that? What you talking about? So no, it's not to have one little set of uh, uh, school and say, everybody got to come under me a style or you not in the truth. Nigga, what you smoking on? Stop it, man. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Things have to make sense. Okay? I don't care how much you try to do the damn George Jefferson. You can't George Jefferson the statement that was made multiple times over and over and over again, bro. You cannot do it. Not with me, because I'm going to watch and I'm observe and watch everything you say. That's now, I, um, before you got on, Black Jesus, are you still there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm still here. I told Black Jesus that you were the founder of FOPE. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So let, I don't want to entertain that discussion right now, bro. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Like what we talking about? Yeah, That's man. A whole Quinoff, discussion. Quinoff, okay, all right, all right. Listen, no problem. Quinoff and I, I'm just saying, Quinoff and I, when Quinoff called me, contact me. You see what I'm saying? We build a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, he wanted me to come out the want to link up with me, want to be a part of we got next week he's doing. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, things happened up in New York where I had to split for a little second. So I split and went down to D.C. We linked up. You know what I'm saying? He had some brothers. And it's, I'm not going to lie about nothing. He had some brothers out there. You know what I'm saying? Brothers eventually left because they wasn't vibing. And then we together, you know what I'm saying, built the D.C. area. Okay? I'm mm -hmm. not going to say he wasn't there because okay. I was going okay. to stay at his house. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We cool. was building and vibing and, and being brothers in the whole nine. You see what I'm saying? But as me being an elder, and me being a person that's known in Israel at the time, you see what I'm saying? Of course, when, when you see what's going on, I'm leading it at that point. You know what I'm saying? Of course, that's, that's what it is. Now, Kornav was the he was the leader out in D.C. You see what I'm saying? I told him, that, listen, you're going to be the leader out here in D.C., the point man out in D.C. Okay, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit there and debate. And, and, and go, go crazy about that, you know. You see, what I'm saying like, right, that's right. Like, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so now let's go to the jury. So now let's go to the jury. Everybody's ready to give a verdict, brother. Innocent or guilty, brother? <laughs> Y'all doing a verdict? Go. We we finna do it right now. So now, uh, and brothers and sisters. Now, son, that's gonna keep his verdict to himself. He's gonna keep his. So now is gonna keep his verdict to himself. Now, go ahead. Be neutral. Now, to the rest of you, everybody who's in this audience. In the chat, if ISUPK is innocent, we want you to type in the chat innocent. If ISUPK is guilty of the charge, which is titled in this room, in this live stream, does ISUPK advocate adultery, rape, and crack cocaine? If they're guilty, type guilty in the chat. Innocent or guilty? Let's do that right now. Everybody do it right now. Everybody do it right now. Right now. Right now. God damn, go. man. You got to go. Yo, Let's you go. got everybody in there saying guilty. God Let's damn. Go. Jesus won a fucking. Let's go. Jesus won one. Let's go. He said he won oh, one. Oh, shit. You finally won one, G. Uh, brothers and sisters, this is, these are not my words that we're judging. We're judging the words of Captain, no, of Captain Tazariak. And his God, his God, to say, like, I love you, man. But when God and the word of God is not your God, brother, you're in trouble. Let me say that again, to Zariac. When God and the word of God is not your God, as uh, 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 the honorable Maharaka, Maharaka just uh, uh, emphasized there, brother, you are in trouble, brother. Man pleasing is not the will of God, brother. Okay. So, brother, in the meantime, we're going to pray for you, man. And I'm praying for you that you leave ISUPK. And I believe that in 2013 and because of, uh, of what 
your leader said and exposed himself and exposed all of ISUK, ISUPK, that 2013 will be the end, will be the end of your wicked organization that you uh, that you are part of, sir. You said 2023, brother. 2023. Do you do you think <laughs> I'm gonna ask Black Z, Black Jesus? I'm gonna ask you, Black Jesus, and I'm gonna ask Maharaka. Do you think Captain Tazariak is big enough now, strong enough now, to go out on his own and, and come forth with his own movement, his own um, Hebrew movement, to build, build his own movement? Who are you asking first? I'm going to ask you, Black Jesus. Uh, I, right now, he's not. Tazariak needs to come sit at the feet I of I think Bishop. he is. I don't oh, know what oh, you're oh, talking oh, about. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Yeah. Right now, he's not because the brother is indoctrinated. He's indoctrinated with false doctrine. He's indoctrinated to the extent that he loves his leaders and he's more loyal to his leaders than God and God's word. So Zariak must come sit at the feet of Bishop Black Jesus Minister, a 55-year-old man. I know I don't look like it. A 55-year-old. I'm an elder, bro. You need to come sit at the feet of Bishop Black Jesus Minister along with everybody in ICBK. Let me clean up all of that deprogramming. Let us deprogram it, brother. <laughs> You're stupid, man. We got the deprogram. All right, let me get the Mahara card. Hold on, at the third second. <laughs> and when that brother's deprogrammed, Tazariak is a natural born leader, and I would love to see that brother go forward in the word of God on his own. All right, Mahara card. Do you think Captain is big enough, strong enough now to lead his own movement and build up his own movement as far as the um, Israelites? Because I know once, if he was to leave, some will leave with him. I think his main man, um, Katazat, would probably leave with him and help him build a, a powerful movement. What do you think? Um, honestly, I'm going to say um, I'm going to agree with uh, Black Jesus Ministry to a fault because mm. I've been there. In that school, you see, what I'm saying I've been in that. I ain't gonna say the school, the mindset. You know what I'm saying? You think if you leave, you're not in the truth. Cat program, you like you're not in the truth. And see, that's what they teach at this school. If you're not mm -hmm. a part of ISUBK, you're not in the truth. Right. Right. They separate themselves from every other Hebrew Israelite, right? By saying if you're not a part of us, you're not in the truth. So therefore, we're condemned. We're done. But then you still want to say and hang out with brothers that's not in your school. That's hypocrisy. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If, if I'm not in the truth, why the fuck you hanging out with me then? When you was in ISUPK, was um, General Yohanna a student with you? Y'all was together? Yohanna, General Yohanna was a general over the camp that I was in. He was my okay. general in 1993. That's why mm -hmm. these niggas can't tell me shit about a damn thing. Like, I only see oh. niggas, but brothers, right? It's a lot. You know what I mean? I, I was in the camp, and it was called Spirits of Fire, all right? And, and the so-called Comfy, you know what I'm saying, Jermaine Grant, me and him was in that camp. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was in that camp for two to three years okay, before, before the school split in half, right? So I oh, and, and I used to always talk to this brother, man, you know what I'm saying, back and forth, messenger, all that. And I, I thought we was cool, whatever. I thought wrong, obviously. But I'm not going to grudge against him. He grudged with me. He said, I am his brother. Fine. You could be in First John 3, 18, if, um, 3, 15 if you want, if you hate your brother. That you see, um, um, well, that's four, first John four, first John three. If you hate your brother, you're a murderer. I'm your brother, but you gonna say I'm not your brother? He say you don't like, he don't love Black Jesus minister, but he's still an Israelite, so you hate him. If you don't love him, then you hate him. So now you're still in the spirit of a guilt, <laughs> according to that, right? You're in the spirit of Cain by even saying that. You see what I'm saying? So brothers just don't be watching what they be saying. You know what I mean? I think the brother once he stood up against polite. And I'm saying he was on fire. He was on flames back in 2014 and the whole night doing his thing. You see what I'm saying? I felt then that the man could could stood up, stood on his own ground. But I see that the the loyalty to not go against these men clouds them clouds the man. Like so, you you can't stand on your own, Dan, because you stand on other men. You can't. That's why I'm saying I agree with him. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be under the shadow of nobody forever. Most of called me to be a minister and a preacher and a teacher, and that's just that. You see what I'm saying? That's just what it is. When the elder was going off, talk about they was the, they was the 12, and niggas talk about they John and Peter and all kind of madness. I'm like, hold up, man. No, give me some scriptures they trying to use to justify this, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And based off their own teaching, it contradicts what they taught. Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, there's no form of remembrance or form of things. You won't know who the fuck you are. So how the fuck now you niggas are saying something different? You see what I'm saying? If you saying something different, nigga, I'm, I'm stepping. I'm not, I'm not following nobody out here, okay? Y'all niggas can say one west, whatever. I, I, I read the script. That's it. You see what I'm saying? And that's just mm -hmm. what it is, man. I'm saying, I'm not well, I, I look at um, I look at First John's um four and twenty, and you know what that's saying, right? If you don't love your brother who you see, right? How can you say you love God whom you have never seen? Boom, that's the bomb right there. Like, but the hate your about? brother who you see every day. <laughs> so, so you know what I'm saying? So it's it's so many bombs. But I don't think Captain hates you though, brother. No, I'm talking about Black Jesus. He said the Black Jesus. He yeah. said I love you, Sarnetta. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, that's what I'm referring to. Listen, if a man hate me, hey, I can follow Luke the sixth chapter. You know what I'm saying? Because when everybody is worshiping and saying, oh, this brother's so great. We love him and everybody follow him. The most I said, those false prophets. That's what the script say. So I mean, I ain't even worried about that. Now, am I trying to say anything negative to say he, that brother or brothers is false prophets? I, I'm saying what the scriptures say. If it, it fit, then it hit. That's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, I believe the brother has knowledge. He got the charisma, you know what I'm saying, to move forward on his own. But because he's so indoctrinated under the ISBK, home of the truth, and we only got the truth and nobody else, and the loyalty to, to the fault that you will damn justify any goddamn thing they can say. Anything they can say, you got a fucking excuse for the shit. That's the bullshit. Everybody mm. here heard what the man said. If you say anything outside of that, you will goddamn kiss your kiss but, but let's but let's look at it like this though, Mahara Khan. I think you gotta you might be being a little unfair to him now. You know, he's a soldier. He's under them. Like, what else do we really expect Captain to say? You know, think about that. Like, what we can't expect Captain to come in here and condemn his general. Why like, not? Come on. See, but see, but that's the trick, son. Let us, let me, let me oh, that. that's Why? the trick. Hold on. That's the trick. Listen, the most I said we should owe in, in, in Acts 5 29, we should obey God rather than man. I'm not mm -hmm. obeying no motherfucking man because he's a man with fringes and borders of blue. Or he can say shalom and all that. You must be out your goddamn mind, Negro. This is my salvation. Mm -hmm. If you're going against some scriptures, dog, you're going against some scriptures. We can be homies in the whole nine. I had brothers that was my mans in them. We broke bread, drink wine, laugh, joke at each other's house. Niggas going to the veggie tales. Niggas going overhead. Niggas talking about this. Shout out woman style. We on, it's on and popping now. So ain't no, it ain't no fucking friends in here to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the point where you can blaspheme the scriptures. You can lie in the scripture because you my man. It's all love. Like, no, bro, who does that? I'm not doing that. You niggas do that. Whoever want to do that, I'm not doing that. That's mm -hmm. just that. I hate you. I you know hate what I'm saying? You. So, yeah. You're supposed to stand up if it's two. The scripture says, don't rebuke an elder that's two or three witnesses. So if there's two, three witnesses of you saying some wacky, wacky ass shit out here, you know what I'm saying? And then we talk about shit going over the internet. So you're just multiple witnesses. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's about correction. Why you can't just say, yo, I was wrong, man. That's it. It's simple to say, I was wrong. It's simple to say, ah, you going off. And if they don't want to accept the correction, then you have to move on. See, brothers don't want to correct their elders, you know what I'm saying, or leaders, because they don't they have no place to go. They're gonna get ostracized. Do it in order. Get two, three witnesses. Or go to other elders and explain the situation and then let them address those brothers. If you don't want to address it. But I'm not I'm not man pleasing nobody out here, son, at all. Okay. All right. Yes. Hey, um, what scripture was that that captain brought out when he said that um David, he told them that he was gonna um have sex with his wife. What scripture was that from the that beginning? Was, uh, that was Second Samuel, the twelfth chapter. Start with like the. Uh, oh, that was the one. The second Second Samuel, the twelfth chapter, verse eleven. Yeah. Twelve and ten on down. Twelve and ten. Okay. And it was fulfilled in Second Samuel sixteen and 20. and twenty. Right, I so got come you. Come on, you cannot say that nothing happened to David. Why? Like the prophecy was made in vain. Like he just said it just to say this shit out his ass like General Stump. Now, lie. you know what? Captain probably didn't know that. I would have to say, I would say he didn't lie. I would say Captain didn't know that. That's you what would I would say. I would say that. I won't say that. 
I won't say that because I see the brother as a very studied man in the scripture, okay, over the years, and that's not hard. That's not fucking hard, bro. It's four chapters after what was said. Mm, okay. Stop it. Okay. If you're reading through the story, brother, <laughs> you read yeah. four more chapters, it comes to life. Stop it. All right, we Damn. can wrap this thing up, man. We can wrap this thing up, bro. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. We got George Macon in the building real quick. Let me uh, say peace to brother George Macon. George, what hey, up, man? Hey, what's going on? I got a question for my Israelite brothers real quick. Of I see you I'm putting in that, that work, though, George. I, yeah. see you. I see you, brother. Don't think <laughs> I don't see you, man. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. I, I got a question, especially when y'all when y'all reading in, in, in uh, Second Samuel, when y'all talking about uh, David and the Hippothel story. Um. How do y'all justify? Because I had I asked a couple Hebrews white brothers um in the gym the other day about the story. How do y'all justify like God forgiving David for what he did for his sins, what he did to Ahithophel's uh granddaughter, getting Uriah killed, covering it up, and then and then uh the, the son was mad, the son was mad and went against someone to take the kingdom. All that stuff that's playing out. Why would Nathan? Why would Nathan side basically basically side with David at the end, and why would God have favor and David? What David did, and we know in layman's terms, if me and Sinetta is cool, and I sleep with his granddaughter, and then and then kill basically kill her husband, and Sinetta find out about it, he ain't gonna never forgive me for that. He she got every right to want to kill me. Why would God have favor in me and not favor in Sinetta? All right. Well, let me say. Let me respond to that, dear brother. Now listen to me good, brother. Whether you and I like it or not, whether you and I like it or not, God is going to do whatever the hell he wants to do, whether you understand it or not. All right? Your arms are too short to box with God, brother. Your arms are too short to box with God, and you better realize that. Now let me give you some clarity in what you just said. You said, why did God uh, uh, forgive uh, 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 David? for killing this man, Uriah, and taking his wife. No, God didn't forgive him. God uh, 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 allowed, gave him mercy to not take his life because God was going to take his life. David laid prostrate on the ground for several days begging God for his life. And then God chose out of his own providence to spare his life, but punishment was still on the way and death was still on him. So God said, you know what? I'm not going to take your life because the law that I created commands me to take your life. That's why you begging. But I'm going to take the life of your son. Of so your son. I did not leave the household of David, brother. Well, let me ask you. So let me ask you. Can, can, I, can I answer the question? Because I, I, I'm i actually. Hebrew. Yeah, let, let him answer the question. Go ahead. I, I'm the, the Hebrew is like, like black Jesus is Christian. Okay. So it's two, it's multiple scriptures. First of all, the most I said that David is a man after my own heart. So he right, loved David, right? And David was perfect. And you read the book, a book of Josephus, up to the point of the case of Bathsheba and Uriah. He was perfect. Can I okay? ask one question before you go? Just to, uh, when, when it speaks about David, could you also tell the people what it spoke about a hippothel and how intelligent he was and when his when it what was in his lips when he spoke? And that's why that's why I take I take this story so personal, and I, and I'm glad I'm talking to an Israelite because it, it it also lends into Absalom when the sister was raped and Absalom wanted to talk to David and David wouldn't talk to him, so it's like Absalom was wrong, Ahithophel was wrong, but God just loved David. <laughs> so um, I, I rest there. No, Ahithophel wasn't wrong. He fulfilled the prophecy that was mentioned in Second Samuel the twelfth chapter. How are you going to be wrong? It said it when we read it in 2 Samuel 16. It confirmed. Let me read it right quick. It, it confirmed okay. it right there in 2 Samuel 7. I mean, all 16. Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. It confirmed about the brother you just mentioned, right? It says 2 Samuel 16. Let me get it right quick. 2 Samuel 16 and 20, right? Who is that? 20, right? It says, moreover, Ahithophel said unto Absalom, let no, that's 17. And he said, and then said Absalom to Ahithophel, give counsel among you what we should do. And Ahithophel said unto right. him, if I'm saying it, pronounced it wrong, forgive me. Absalom, go in unto thy, go into thy father's concubine, which he had left to keep the house. And all Israel shall hear, and thou art hated 
of thy father, that's what Ahor means, then right. shall the hands of all that are with thee be strong. So they spread Absalom the tent upon the top of the house, and Absalom went in onto his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. So he F U C K them. His concubines, right. Yeah, that, which is his wives. Okay. Yes. And the council of, of Hithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had required of the oracle of God. God himself. Right. Right. So, so he was in the spirit. That, the so he was why, all, okay. Yeah. Now he the was all why, in the spirit. Uh, I'm, but, I'm asking, yeah. I'm asking that because I understand the part of the prophecy, man, for they say the prophecy being fulfilled, but we, when we read the Bible, we try to put it in layman's terms where we can understand it, what's going on now. So right. if we looking at it, we looking at a hippothel. Hippothel didn't do nothing wrong, but basically he, when he told Absalom, go kill David now, go kill him now while he's weak. And Absalom wanted to wait. So David got powerful and they came back and basically wiped them out. But why didn't God, why didn't God just allow them to win? Because David was wrong. Why didn't he do what? Allow what? Why didn't God just allow Ahithophel and Absalom to win? Because David was wrong. David was because, the one that because that the Most High loved. Because the Most High loved David. Simple. And the Most High is a gangster, man. That's that. crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna get the scriptures right, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna finish this. So it was all the counsel of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. So when you go to Psalms the thirty second chapter and the first verse, it says, "Blessed is he." Whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. I agree, Blessed brother. is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. He wasn't a deceitful nigga with the most high. He got he's a man in the flesh. The scripture says there's no man, he said, there's no man on earth that can that there's no man on earth that doeth good and sinneth not. I agree right. with that. But let me, so, ask oh, let me let me just get this last verse. Let me get um let me get on Romans 9 right quick. Romans 9 right quick. All right. And most of do what the hell you want to do. Like the last minister say, you know, like we 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 think it from a man's perspective. That ain't got nothing to do with him. He's the he's the godfather. He make up the rules. He the one who he brings evil upon your ass. See what I'm saying? He, he didn't want to say kill this nigga right now. He didn't want to orchestrate all this. When you read the scripture, you see the most eyes, the most gangsters being on the fight. He's, he's, he's the creator. Like, what are we talking about? All right, um, Romans 9. It says right here. Uh, it says, um, when he was talking about um, Jacob and Esau, right? Check this out. Romans 9 and 10, right? Or start with 9. For this is the word of promise. At this time where I come and Sarah shall have a son. And and not only this, but when Rebecca also have conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither have it done any good or evil. These children didn't do no good or evil because they wasn't born to do good or evil. And when you what is good or evil? Breaking the commandments. That right. the purpose of God according to election might stand. They can't keep commandments as babies or before they born. Not of works, right? Keeping the commandments, right? Righteousness, but of him that called who is them the father. Right, he choosing right now. When you elect something, you choose. Election is a choice of who you gonna say good, I got you. who you gonna say evil. Hold on, hold on. It was said unto her. Let me finish. The elders should serve the younger, as it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? You may say, why he gotta love one and hate the other? I agree. I understand. Hold on. Let me finish. I'm, I'm trying to get uh, to that point. All right, all right. Because I don't want any... to get lost. Because I'm. <laughs> I know. I know. It's not. Uh, you only lost because you lost. If no, there's unrighteousness, lost. hold on, listen, brother. If there's unrighteousness with God, God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So you can say whatever you want to say, right? Or you want. But the most I said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. I, I understand that part. Okay, but this, so this, I didn't answer your question. No, listen, listen, listen. I understand those, but this is the part that you guys always leave out, and 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 y'all don't. Let, this is the part that's not being answered, right? During that time, right, Tamar was raped by Amon. David did nothing, nothing. She went to go live with Absalom because he was exiled because he was in the position of revolt. 
What I'm saying is I'm looking at this in layman's terms. I'm, I'm giving this story to a brother from the street that's trying to do righteous. He's reading the story. He's like, man, God ain't shit. Because why would you take, why would you take, why would you take his side when he out here doing wicked? Like he just pure wicked. He can fall at the face of the Lord. If I if I decide to be wicked and, re, and, and retaliate, I don't get the same love. I get killed. The sister get raped. David don't do nothing about it. He get mad at Absalom. So, like, when we understand in the story, that's what okay. I'm saying. Like, y'all, like, I, I got the answer. I got the answer. Was, hold on, let me finish because I was quiet. You no, just, no, you, you wasn't. Finished. You was interrupting me, but go ahead. Uh, well, I apologize <laughs> for interrupting you. But let me just say, let me just say, you guys go and basically say you can't question God because God has his own thoughts. Okay, fair enough. But if we, but, but if, if you've given us scripture and you're telling us to come out from amongst these people and be ye clean, 2 Corinthians uh, 6 17, and all that stuff, fine. But you can't tell me that if I'm using scripture for my everyday life, where if I see a nigga uh, 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 basically sleep with a woman, cover it up, kill her husband, my, my one of my sons raped the daughter, the other son killed that. This is all going on in the house. God shows him favor. And when he was the catalyst to start it, but the son dies and 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 and, and the advisor dies. Come on, man. I, I that's crazy to me. Okay, uh, brother, brother Sonetta, go, go, go ahead, my heart. Go ahead, my heart. You can't question God. All right, so let, 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 let me get your brother because we got to move on. Let me get to the scripture. Let me, if you know the story, right? Yes. When when King Saul was chasing David, right? Was okay. was King Saul wicked? Was he wrong? Yes, he was wicked. They all was wicked. No, no, I'm just talking about King Saul. Was King yes, Saul he was wicked. wicked? Right? Was he not trying to kill David? Yep. The night took his wife. His daughter gave it to another man, which was adultery. I'm well, this nigga was doing all type of wicked shit. David could have killed the nigga in the cave, but what did David say? That was God anointed. Not he the most can't kill God's anointed. anointed. So who That's could touch David? Who was who could touch David? Was not he anointed by the most high to be king of Israel? But why wouldn't Absalom no, 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 no. answer? He the didn't question. do nothing. With Uriah hold, didn't do nothing on. wrong. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking about David. Uriah, you, Uriah is not David. No, what I'm saying is, but no, listen, what I'm saying I got what you're saying, but what I'm saying was Uriah was a good servant. He didn't do nothing wrong, but get his work. Okay, and he's a, he, he and he's a hold on, and he's a pawn in the Most High game. Oh, oh dude, that's what I wanted you to say. See, Sonetta, he's a pawn in the Most High's game. What, 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 what else can I say? Well, no, I'm, I'm showing you that I, you can't. Hold on, even because said King David. Nobody was over King David because the only king was Yahweh, the Most I High. When they asked for a king, the Most High gave them a king. So he, it was nobody was had the authority to just kill a king. I, listen, brother. I so you. that's why that's why you saying what you're saying. The Most High still judged them. He I killed, got you. He, he killed the son. Hold up. He killed the son that he was having a baby with Bathsheba. He ran the nigga out of his own kingdom. The nigga was running out of his own kingdom. Right, the niggas around him. Res, res, it, 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 there was an insurrection around him. His right. son went and smashed his firstborn son went and smashed his daughter. Right, Absalom bodied the nigga for it. Right, yeah. right. You said why David? How, uh, I, it's not even written that David knew about that. You see what I'm saying? Because it was in secret. Nobody knew about it. Remember, Absalom went to go tell him. Nobody, nobody knew about it. Nobody. All right, all right, y'all. Hey, the pause right there. Thank all right, yeah, we got to let Black Jesus close this thing out. Thank y'all for coming through. All right, hold on, Black Jesus. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Peace. We out. Uh, we're gonna let Black Jesus close this thing out as well. Black Jesus, before you close out, I just want to answer my sister, um, Sister Noble. She said, Yahweh is a righteous killer and will kill the wicked. And I would say, um, to my sister, that is incorrect. Yahweh will kill anything that lives, whether it's righteous, whether it's bad or good. Because remember, he killed over 500,000 people just between the flood alone. So are you saying that all them people that he killed, um, Sister Noble, were they wicked? You can't say that. You see? So the Most High kills and destroys anything that gets in his path because I keep telling you that he is a narcissist. So if the Most High is a narcissist and he, he will kill anything if you don't agree with him, if you're not, I mean, come on now, let's be real with it. Let's be real with it. He will kill anything if you don't agree with him. 
if you if you're not looking at him as to be your only savior, you know, he is a jealous God. He's telling you he's jealous right there. So, I mean, I disagree with you, my sister. Go ahead, Black Jesus. Let's close this thing yeah, up. Yeah, I'm closing right now. Uh, please pick up Michael Edwards' telephone call, Sonetta. When? He when he call me? He fin oh, he's finna call you right now. So when okay. he call, pull him in into the show over the phone. Uh, I got him. I got him right here. Okay. All right. Peace and blessings to my man, Michael Edwards. We live, Mike, before you say anything. What's happening, brother? Oh, man. Peace, love, and light. So I met a brother. What's happening, man? Man, everything good? Man, you look like you gaining weight, brother. Hey, you know how it is, man. The wife you take care of you, man. The wife you take care of you. I go up and down in weight. You know what I'm saying? I go up and oh, down good, man. because of, uh, you know, certain things that I be taking, man. You know, medication shit. You know, yeah, sorry. That I means you take these, care of yourself. I get nah, man. <laughs> I get into <laughs> these fucking um, um, what they call it? the flims, um, flim, the, these fucking um, the flim, flim. You know what I'm talking what about? What is that? Coughing, coughing up mucus? No, 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 nothing like that. But um, um damn, the, the word just escaped me just now and shit. But anyway, well, I'll get back to it. Okay. But yeah, okay. good. Well, man, thank you for taking my call. Flare-ups. Yeah, flare-ups. I get into my flare-ups. Oh, flare-ups. Yeah. And you know, them yeah. doctors, they give you that shit, um, that, that damn medication, where they don't keep you on it too long because it's not really good. But um, you know, Right, just for the flare-ups. Yeah. I so that shit it, make you get weight, and then it makes you go back down once I'm off that shit. So I'm up and down all the time. But that's all right, though, brother. Yeah. You don't look like you. You don't look like you're sick of nothing. You're feeling bad. Nothing. No, man. no, I'm good. You're I'm doing good. what you're doing, fam. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But I have a beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 entry for brother George Macon, man. And shout out to you, George. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you better tell your man, Black Jesus, be cool. right. The steroids. There you go. That's what they be giving me sometime, and I can't. You know, you better tell Black Jesus be cool. I you be can't go get his ass, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> he fucking right. He, he fucking yeah. out, man. Come on. Yo, man. Cesariot, man, is never going to leave that, bro. That cat, man. He'll be like a walking question mark if he left ISUPK. No yeah. personality, you know. So. But yeah, man, here's for, for Brother George Macon now. Uh, it, I think it's second Samuel. Don't quote me, but Google it. Till I'm driving. Second Samuel, uh, the prophet Nathan, and the only reason why I'm making this comment is so the brother can read that and don't, you know, misquote the scriptures anymore and don't misrepresent the Levitical priesthood and the prophet. Brother Nathan was a prophet, my brother, and that is not a, you know, a shyster, a scam. That's a man that speaks the truth, no matter if it's Sunday or Monday, you dig. So here's what Nathan said to him. The prophet Nathan came to David and told him, just like I would tell you. He said, hey, man, uh, David, bro, there was a man with a rich man. He had a hundred sheep, David. And there was a man also with one sheep, a poor dude. But you know what, David? When the, the sun went down and the poor dude went to sleep, the rich dude went across the street and stole that man's one sheep. Dig this, Sonetta and George. Hey, man. David said, who is the man? Who is the man? Where he at? I'm going to get him. <laughs> but guess what? The prophet Nathan told him, you are that man. That means I saw you. God saw you. The Levitical priesthood saw you. The prophet saw you. And the Holy Spirit saw you. So, Brother George Macon, never, ever, ever make the mistake of saying that one of God's mouthpieces spoke a filth. Like, uh, looking over what David did. No, 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 no. That never happened, brother. God's men speak just like me and Sarnetta speak to each other because of care and concern. Not because of the show, you did. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to take that one in your spirit, Brother George. Read the Bible a little more, man. All right. All right. Thank you, Mike. We're getting ready to close this thing out, man.
Yes, sir. All right. Peace, sign of the love and life. Man. Peace, brother. No doubt. Yes. All right. Yes. Black Jesus, man. I've learned a valuable, a valuable. I don't know if my people learned it, but me, I'm a quick learner. I pick up things and um, I've learned a hell of a, a hell of a uh, lesson dealing with the Bible, brother. Oh, man. I don't think a lot of our people caught on to it, but um, I'm going to allow them and I'll bring it up one day. I'm not going to bring it up today. I'll bring it up another day. So Black Jesus Minister, you got the floor, brother. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you all very much. First of all, again, thank Brother Sarnetta for allowing me the opportunity to make this presentation before the community, before the people, before the world. And thank you all for participating and lending your credibility to this presentation, uh, to Tazariak, to General Mahayman, to Yohanna. It is time for all of you brothers to repent. It is time for your organization to clean house and to clean up and abide by the true word of God and stop making up S-H-I-T as you go. Uh, brothers and sisters, I do not hate nobody. I love everybody. That's why I fight so goddamn hard. That's why I talk so loud. That's why I have so much energy because Black Jesus Minister and Black Jesus Ministries, we are here for the unity of all of our people. Time is up and time is out for division artists, for division artists. These Israelites who say that we got the truth and the only truth, to hell with them, they're lying. That's a division artist. Uh, to all the Christians who say we have the truth and the only truth, that's a lie. Another division artist to Muslims who say that we have the truth and the only truth, that is a lie. They are all division artists. And God is calling us to be a human family. And God is calling all of us into unity under the true Christ Messiah, the only Christ Messiah, Black Jesus, Black Jesus, Isa, Yeshua, brothers and sisters, whether you like it or not. Our African Bible says that every knee shall bow, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that black Jesus the Christ is Lord, whether you like it or not, okay? And brothers and sisters, I love you all very much, and I'm asking you all to continue to support black Jesus minister and black Jesus ministries as we continue to kick much ass in the effort and the goal of unity brothers and sisters and i love you all and i thank you all and for those of you who are praying people praying people with in whatever spiritual paradigm that you reside in please remember me in prayer brothers and sisters please say my name say my name say my name brothers and sisters in prayer y'all hear me and likewise do the same for the godfather of the conscious community who brings us all together all of us together on the ultimate epicenter of the conscious community and that is brother sarnetta and sarnetta studios and house of consciousness whether you like it or not you hear me so again brothers and sisters how come you never shout out the queen lillian lorraine man why you don't never shout her out she always in the chat with you um promoting your stuff make sure you get uh, your yeah, word let out me shout out lillian lorraine she's been with me since the very beginning all of right there you go ministry. brother the beginning of Black Jesus Ministries, brothers and sisters. Stop, stop always shouting out the nuts, man. You got, you got, you got the the womb that bring forth creation up in this place. And you keep shouting out nuts and shit, man. What's going on? Well, well, she kind of like it kind of quiet sometimes in the background. But yeah, but since you brought it out, I'm going to shout it out. Yes, indeed. Lillian Lorraine, been with Black Jesus Minister from the beginning. She believed in her brother 10 years ago. And 10 years later, she's still here, brothers and sisters. I thank her very much. Her work has been incalculable and invaluable. So you know she's getting ready to sit in my class. She might not be there with you too long now. <laughs> <laughs> she getting ready to sit in my class, nigga. And she's going to learn this Bible, bro. <laughs> so, right. hey, be, I mean, you better keep her from me. All right. Well, brothers and sisters, we're going to She's going to learn this Bible, brother. We're going we're gonna to roll on out, Sarnetta, with this conclusion video, my hype video, my promo video. Jump ship, 
Jump ship on <laughs> ISUPK. It's time for all of y'all, all of y'all, to leave the demonic leadership of ISUPK and follow the bishop, to follow the bishop, the global bishop of the black Hebrew Israelite movement, bringing correction and truth to Hebrew Israelites all over the world. Brothers and sisters, we can do it. Thank you all very much. Let me play the video. Thank you, Sid. Thank you again, Sonna. All right. Ah, uh, this is a Black Jesus Ministries, Black Jesus Minister, jump out with the old demonic One West doctrine and in with the new righteous doctrine of Black Jesus Minister. Keep calm, brothers and sisters, and jump ship. Jumping ship is the recommendation of Bishop Black Jesus Minister and his homeboy, Little Jump Ship. So we about to get started, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm not going to be too, too long. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to start off by sharing a verse of scripture. And the topic for tonight, the topic for tonight is Black Jesus Minister, Bishop Black Jesus Minister, taking over the Israelite movement, taking over the Israelite movement, brothers and sisters, as the champion debater of the conscious community. Why am I the champion debater, brothers and sisters? Because I am the home of the truth. Black Jesus Ministries is the home of the truth, brothers and sisters. And likewise, brothers and sisters, not only are we the home of the truth, but we are the home of Black Jesus, Easter Yeshua, the true Christ Messiah, and I'm going to steal another logo from ISUPK. We are the home of no cowards. We are the true home of no cowards. We are the true home of the truth. Because ain't nobody one of them, nobody over here at Black Jesus Ministry, homeboy. Oh Your holler is running for Black Jesus Ministry. You hear me? Nathaniel from IUIC is running for Black Jesus Ministry. All you Israelites, I don't care who you are and what name of your convict camp that you belong to. Your convict camp that you belong to. Every last one of you are, are inferior to me. And I'm a Christian calling you nutbags out. Calling you out. And you're going to sit up here and act like you don't hear me with your punk ass. Every last one of y'all. You hear me? I'm the goddamn beast, nigga. You've been calling Christians out for years. You, you got all kinds of nasty things to say about Christians for years. Now you got one. Now you got one. What you going to do about it, Paul? Every last one of you nutbag, nutrag ass Israelites all over the world. I don't want your chunk. I don't want your, uh, your, 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 your water boys. I want the goddamn leader. You hear me? I want your goddamn leader. And to every last one of you Israelites who are following your Hunter, who are following Nathaniel, who are following anybody, and your punk ass, and you know that your punk ass leader won't step to me, you are, if your leader's a punk, that means you a goddamn punk. And if your leader's doctrine is a goddamn lie, and I'm calling out, then your leader's a liar, and you a goddamn fool for following them. Because they're leading you stupid niggas to hell. You hear me? I'm the goddamn beast, nigga. I'm the truth, goddammit. I'm the bishop. Taking over this Israelite movement. Taking names, goddammit. So yeah, they ain't gonna never debate me, because they know I will mop their ass up and embarrass them in front of all that they follow. And they will have no more followers. So do yourself a favor right now and jump ship, goddammit, like you got some goddamn sense and you better follow Black Jesus Minister. My God. Thank you, Brother Sonata. Thank you, Brother. All right, all right, man. Uh, Black Jesus Minister, peace and black power. We out of here, man. Talk to you. All right, family. Let me leave y'all with some words of wisdom. Um, good show, good show. I just want to leave y'all with this. Um, remember this. God only exists 
because you give God power. It is not the opposite way around. Even though we've been taught that, we've been taught that God is the one that wakes us up and gives us the power and gives us the energy. That is not true. You give God the power. You give God the energy. You give God life. You bring God to life. God would not exist if it wasn't for you. Okay? And I hope you get what I said. I know a lot of y'all probably say, oh, God, Sarnetta, what are you talking about? Man, God created us. No, you created God. And with that, peace and black power, family. You don't see it now, but you might see it later on in the future. We out of here. God can only exist because you exist. Peace.